Yeah, baby. Yes. Wait, I didn't. I didn't even turn on the camera. Oh. Ah. Hi. Welcome to the final day stream. Arya JP. Hi. Oh man. I've. Oh man, I haven't even turned on the Gundam. Let me. Let me. Let me start the Gundam sequence. Go. Probably will have to uh, attach the extra batteries. In a, in a, oh god, there was a telephone call with a voicemail. I'm not gonna listen to this. Oh, oh, I deleted it. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Hi. Hi, everybody. It's the final countdown. Yeah, yeah. I've, um, I have to say, I received an injury. <laughs> That's why I'm a bit like, oh, old man today. It's a bit of an embarrassing story if you want to hear it. So, um, I, I went, I, I've been talking about how I'm uh, checking out comics, right? So I went to a comic book store yesterday and I got some comics. I'm reading some Spider Man comics. Oh. I have a lot of thoughts about those comics and don't, I, I already said before, like I really like the Spider-Verse movies. I think they're really fantastic and like going from the movies to the comics is a little bit like, oof. Oh yeah, that's very different. That's a very different experience. Um, but I have the opportunity here because there's a beautiful comic book store um, to kind of like experience, kind of like, you know, get into, get into, um, you know, the cycle of following a big uh, comic book event uh, as it's happening. Because I think that's kind of like something that, that people, that the fans of the comics are kind of like, like, yeah, this is so great, you know, and I, I get that, you know, it's like as a kid, I was also great, like every week, you know, get like this thin thing where it continues the story. It's like, oh, what will happen then? You, you buy the comic book, it's like, what, Magneto marries MJ? How, what, how? And then you just read, oh my gosh, oh. And then at the end it's like, oh, but finally there's the reveal, somebody comes through a portal, it's like, oh, it's, it is I, uh, the Cockroach King. <laughs> oh, no, no, the Cockroach King, he comes back. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I like just like getting back to, the, to, to this kind of experience, kind of like, you know, it's kind of like nostalgic kind of thing. Anyway, I went, long, long story, right? So the, the cool thing about the store that I have here is that they have um, English comics and they, you get like the thin ones. Because you later on, after the series is over, they release like the bigger books. But you know, th that's kind of like the the being in the moment part of it just just is missing on those. It's kind of like nice to be able to read the story, but like you're not in the moment of being there when it happens, right? It's kind of like the difference between a VOD and a stream. So anyway, um, so this comic book store here that we have here is really big for a comic book store. Uh, but also they have to have a lot of books and a specific problem with German comic book stores is that you have a, like, a lot of comic books from America are in English and so you have to have two versions you have to have the German because they're also translated to German so you have the German comic books published by the German Marvel division, whatever who, whatever publisher they're selling their rights to. And they have the original imported from America comic books, right? And, or Marvel or DC, whatever, whatever. So you kind of have to store twice as many comic books in the store. So even though the store is huge, it's, yeah, they're putting the comic books everywhere where they can because they're running out of space. And you know, it's not just like American comic books, it's French, Belgian comic books, it's German comic books. It's uh, uh, manga, you know, it's like all of the comic books are there. It's crazy. It's amazing. I love it because I love comic books, but it's kind of like it's an overwhelming experience to go there. And anyway, uh, so like I, I, for the longest time, I wasn't even I didn't even know where they have the Marvel stuff because I, I saw the, the German Marvel stuff on display. But the American Marvel stuff is kind of hidden away because, you know, it's like not a high priority for them. So anyway, I, I find out where it is, uh, the guy showed me to it, very nice person. Um, and so, and the problem is like, they, they have like a shelf, they get like shelves, right, on along the wall. And so the comic books 
where they put the Marvel stuff that is new, newly released, it's kind of like a little bit below crotch height. And in, in like boxes inside a, like a shelf. Um, uh, or like a, yeah, like a, sh like, a sh like a bookshelf, right? So you, and you cannot take the boxes out and like flip through it. They're in there and they can like installed there. So the only way is like you lower yourself and then, you know, put your hand in there and then like start going through there. And, and the height is, is horrible. It is, it is too high to be sitting at, on the ground because you, then you, you, cannot get, get, you cannot look in there. But it's too low to do it standing. <laughs> Kneel before your marble muscles, that's right. <laughs> So they have like a like a box where you can sit on it, but that you you like if you do that you cannot really look at the at the covers because of the weird angles because it's like so awkwardly placed. So I don't know what I was doing, but I was going through the comics, and I think I was doing it standing, but like in a in a half crutch position, like in a 90 degrees. My my legs were at 90 degrees basically. I was like sitting on an invisible chair, so to speak. <laughs> And, and, and like at that point, like it seemed like okay, that's a bit uncomfortable, but you know, ah, Spider-Man. <laughs> and then already when I returned from my exc excursion, because I did it on my way of, um, by while I was picking my uh, my daughter up, and and already on my way, I noticed, oof, my legs are hurting a little bit. <laughs> and throughout the day, it turns out I have massive. Uh, in German you call it Muskelkater, like a muscle cat. <laughs> That's the translation. Um, I, my, my muscles are very sore because of the awkward muscle age, yeah, I guess. Um, my muscles are very sore from that awkward position. <laughs> it was for a couple of minutes when I was browsing the comics in that comic book store. That's a long story. I'm sorry for this. <laughs> trying to get into the energy of it. No, oh, I didn't even launch P8. Look at this. Look at this. Um, amateur. Welcome to being over 30. Well, I'm being over 40, so that I tell you whatever it, it is like to be over over 30, it's it just gets wilder when you get over 40. Mm. I think the fact that we all enjoy the story so much says a lot about how much we have in common as a community. Yeah, mid thirty. Yeah, uh, there is somebody had like, like a beautiful, um, beautiful summary where, uh, like in your twenties, you know, your body is like oh, everything is like basically you're behaving basically like a child. But well, you as a as a child, your body works perfectly, right? Like, there's just nothing wrong with it usually. Like there's exception obviously, but, and it just don't mind. Like you eat everything. You do all sorts of physical, you jump down from things, you lean down and everything is great. In your 20s, you kind of continue doing that, but but maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> and then your 30s are dominated by the incident. <laughs> Where something happened. Where you still continued using the, bo the way, your body the way you used it in your 20s and as your kid. But alas, your body wasn't actually <laughs> designed to do that anymore. And so the incident happens, and then you recover from the incident. And then your 40s are no longer defined by the incident, they are defined by the condition. <laughs> and then it just gets worse from that. Although I heard that, you know, when you get older, you kind of get more mellow about those things. I'm in my mid-30s now and I start to feel it, man. I broke my wrist. It took like six months to feel almost normal again. Well, that's, that's, oh, broken, your, breaking your wrist seems, oh, that seems horrible. Did you like, have it like in a, in a cast? That's the incident, yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I think the incident is something that has like really like long-term consequences. So I'm just embracing the incident right now and look forward to condition phase. <laughs> yeah. Definitely had... Uh, did I have an incident? 
No, I'm 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 more like I had I was jogging jogging a lot, and then suddenly my my knee was like really acting up. That was more of a condition thing. It went away, but it took like, again six months. Yeah, and then I didn't because of the <laughs> compounding problems. I I haven't picked up jogging yet. I should start jogging, but yeah. Two months cast and then six months of feeling stiff from not moving it for two months. Oh man, yeah, yeah, that's that's the truth. Okay, um, I wanted to check something because people were um, giving me feedback on... I just want to make sure that the music sounds so loud. Oh, because it's running at full volume. Okay, that's better. Um... Somebody wrote me, maybe that was a tweet? Somebody wrote me a message, message. No. Um, I think they didn't like the exclamation point at the end. If your falling off the bike was related to your age, might be. Um, I broke my wrist as a kid and that stuff healed quickly and it was 100% again after. So I was shocked how long it felt. Oh, two months ago. Yeah, okay, that's Aria GP talking about the wrist injury. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I I've, I've also fell off of a bike as a kid. That was a big incident. And because I, it kind of like, I cut open my knee and uh, it went like straight to the bone at the knee. And all the juice from the knee spilled out and and I've been to the hospital. People said I won't, won't be able to walk again. And that was a crazy experience. Uh, but you know, as a kid, it's just like well, whatever, and then it, everything heals up again, and then you're you're okay. Yeah, it sounds nuts, and it was nuts as a kid, like to experience like this. But but again, I was just like a kid, whatever. <laughs> you know, just like two weeks in the hospital, and then you get out, and it's fine. Um, so maybe said somebody was on Twitter, <clears throat> on the dying website. Let's go, says, says um, Augustine. Oh man, Augustine is such a nice guy. Oh man, I don't know where <clears throat> the person contacted me. Not here. And that's when you realized uh, Games in Deep Juicy. Yeah, because I saw my knee juice and I was like, wow, eh, this is painful, but also so beautiful. <laughs> I need to have that experience more in my life <laughs> without slitting over my knees. Um, yeah, I don't know. Where, where did that person contact me? They were, they were... Must, or maybe it was Mastodon. I don't know, but let's, let's check Mastodon real quick. I, I checked Mastodon earlier, but maybe I wasn't scrolling far down enough. Down far enough. Wait, Mastodon has this weird all and notifications. Anyway, do you guys think we need to remove the exclamation point? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, um, um, this is a bit of a slow start today, but we have a, a big stream in front of us and I'm really not, like, I, I just like feel a bit, ugh. Um, and I would, I would say like, oh, because I've been, you know, crunching so hard, but you know, I'm, I've been working for f on this four hours maximum per day, so it wasn't such a hard development cycle necessarily. I think the problem is like once you have like a kid at home, it's just like changes so dramatically. I think the, she she exhausts us so thoroughly, um, and you know every kid is different there as well. Okay, so let me let me see the exclamation point. Do I do I like the exclamation point? Mm -hmm. 
Let's try without the exclamation point. You can do it by code. Yeah, it's super code. RLGP, this game looks incredible from UI perspective. It's insane what you're pushing out. Thank you so much, RLGP. I think I, I'm happy with the way this looks, <clears throat> but I, I think. How do I say it? I would love to give some of that, um, uh, redirect some of that um, uh, uh, compliment to Augustine, who created like the original design. This is a cool look. I agree. I, I liked it. That's why I picked it, the the cart in the first place. Um, but also, um, um, I, I think when something comes up really looking really nice, it's also the result of a lot of prep work uh, and and you know good planning. And I think this um, work by Augustine was like doing such a huge step already, pushing the, the game to the right direction. <clears throat> so like um, this character and this layout and this font and everything, the, the look, the vibes of it, is something that Augustine established really, uh, really, really early. And I just like took that and, and went, went and, and pushed it maybe, you know, in, in, into Pico 8, made it reality. <clears throat> But um, but yeah, it was literally like really like a collaborative thing. Like I don't know if I would have made a game that looks like this uh, on by my own. I probably wouldn't. Obviously, um, that's why I'm participating in a, a game by its cover jam because it's so really nice to um, to to uh, yeah learn from other developers, learn from other designers, and, and learn their aesthetics and their approaches to things and and. and Challenge yourself to do things that you would maybe otherwise wouldn't do. I wonder if that's what he meant when he designed the card. Probably to some extent yes and probably to some extent no. Like um, um, he talked about how he was, but there was like this game Gilbert's Warehouse or Wilbert's Warehouse <clears throat> and he thought it was something like this. So probably didn't think about solitude. Um, and it's also like you, you imagine maybe, uh, I, yeah. Also like the card that he made the, doesn't really look like a pixel art game. Um, so like probably seeing it in pixel art was was a big change. And and you know there's other things like the color palette choices are very different because you know it's Pico Eight. Like the white in the background is a bit too white. He had a more of a like a warm, bright gray as a background, so you could draw brighter lines on top of it. Wilmot's Warehouse, that's right. Um, yeah, with the knowledge and interest now, uh, games can really squeeze out a lot. It reminds me of how Kirby's adventure was towards the end of the NES, man. Uh, and with the work put in planning and the backgrounds and everything, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wilmot's Warehouse is amazing. It's. Um, um, it's 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 a really cool idea for a game, and the the problem is I heard about that when uh, once I already have this like mid development, because if I had it before, I probably would have maybe gone maybe for something more similar to Wilmot's Warehouse. So yeah, yeah no, never know. I like Gruber stuff. Yeah, yeah. Gruber, Gruber did, uh, I did some of the stuff in, that Gruber did was amazing. But we did did a lot of revisions. Uh, right. What's the word? I was thinking. Yeah, and so uh, that's actually something I want to do in the upcoming um, second phase of the Schwab tutorial series. Talk more about um, you know planning and organization and how you know you have to, in order to complete something that, that's, um, in order to make some a game really like stand out, you have to set yourself up for success. Uh, it's not like we often, uh, <laughs> like whenever we see somebody create something amazing, 
you always have this wow this is so talented you know oh they're so talented or uh, such a genius you know like you, we kind of like abstract away all the work that went into this into like this kind of like this person just is like this you know like <clears throat> just came out of nowhere and sometimes there is their situation where people have great ideas but um um, yeah, the more you look into this, you realize that um, amazing work is often the result of collaboration and a lot of prep work. And th th there is a lot of work uh, that leads up to amazing results. Um, and it's not just something that happens instantly and without effort. There's a lot of work that goes into this. And um, it, the result of this looking amazing is often just because you don't see the work that goes into this, or you don't think about what kind of work went into this. Um, there was, oh man, I really would love to find that interview. It was about, it was an interview with um, uh, Penn and Teller, the magicians. Um, and they made such a great point. And I think that was one of the rare interviews when the, I don't know which one is Penn and Teller. I think the Teller is the, the, the quiet one, the, the one that doesn't speak. Uh, the, the quiet one was speaking. And he talked about how they set up some of the magic shows they made. Because magic is exactly that, right? You, um, you put up some kind of show and then people watch it and be like, wow, I just witnessed something that's impossible. Or, you know, let's just like blows my mind, you know? Um, and it's made possible because you, the audience is not aware of the prep work. So they only see the result and they f they're like, this is impossible, it's physically impossible, you know, it's just literally impossible what I just saw. Um, and so magic is all about kind of like uh, hiding the prep work. Um, because if you saw the prep work, it would be just obvious. Oh, obviously, yeah. And that's kind of like what, what happens when people explain magic tricks. They kind of like show you the prep work. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, in that interview, uh, the one of the guys was talking about how um, some magic magic tricks are just really dependent on that, where um, uh, they see magic because um, he was talking about some kind of, some kind of ma making an elephant appear or something. I forgot about the details here, but um, but it's like. Um, uh, what happened, like they had magic trick where something that happened that was like, there was a very obvious physical explanation for what happened. It's just um, the obvious way of doing this would be incredibly, tremendously difficult. Like it would require, uh, you know, w m years of preparation in order to pull it off. So people dismiss that and say like, oh, that's obviously not what happened. And it must have been some kind of magical trick here. Uh, but it actually just the only thing they did is they actually invested years of prep work and and lots of money to make that work <laughs> i don't know maybe like in put an elephant there or something um i think there's a similar thing happening in um in the movie um the kind of obviously more fantastic movie um uh prestige where there is this guy who makes this trick on a stage where you know he teleports and spoiler alert this is a very old movie you should know it by now um, there is a twin involved and he hides that twin from uh, from like he lives with the twin but that uh, secretly and and like the the trick is that he just like hides it his entire life like his entire life is, is centered around hiding the trick and again it's like there's nothing it doesn't seem so so crazy when you when you know the trick but the remarkable thing is that, like the amount of work he put into into maintaining the trick. And so this is kind of like the thing, like we, um, and, and I think in games it's just like it happens not intentionally, it's just like, or like any kind of uh, artwork, right? Any kind of art making process. It's like it happens, you don't see the creation, you just see the results. And so it, they also seem kind of like magic tricks. Um, so with my goal for the next uh, Schwab series is kind of like I want to do more mm, Look more into that kind of prep work What it entails and I think we saw this a little bit in the stream here already where you know, we had the perfect setup from uh, Augustine um, I did um, the prep work for the screen designs which 
uh, to be fair, perfectly honest, I didn't, I didn't do, um, oh, let me, let me look this up. I didn't do on, on stream, so that was a bit bad, but no, wait, it was wrong. Um, so this is start, oh, this is height. I want to 36. 36. Uh, Prestige is good, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, maybe one of the best Nolan movies. It's, it's, it, the, the good thing about Prestige is that came out of, that it wasn't so hyped. It came out as well at a time where Nolan was just at the right, uh, at, a, at a sweet spot of, of being Kind of like a interesting f film director who wasn't. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree now. I agree. This looks a little better without the exclamation point. So let us move everything to the to the right by two pixels, maybe. Because right now Nolan is just so hyped, and the people, his audience is a little bit unsufferable. And then I think he also starts, and I mean, this is just an interpretation, but he also starts a bit huffing his own, uh, his own exhaust a little bit too much. Um, I really liked some of the ideas behind uh, Tenant, and I got really into the hype machine around it. But interacting with people who like Nolan movies put me off Nolan movies. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Morning, H. E. Did uh, did you say he's huffing his own exhaust? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, trying to keep this family friendly as possible. <laughs> Tooting its own horn. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because I, I felt like um, um, Tenet was a good idea, um, but. Um, it was a f very flawed movie, <laughs> and I think the, if he had more people, um, you'd never know. But I feel like the, it, it really needed an editor, uh, somebody who's really goes with a red pen and starts really um, bringing things together. There's a lot of things that clearly the, the, he was like really uh, that that. Um, it shouldn't have made it on the on the on the on the screen. Good morning. I never know. Um, I never know. Do I say morning or your morning or this? Just say night because that's where I am. I don't think there's any rules on this. No one needs to watch eyes open. That's right. <laughs> don't give him ideas. He will start start copying another anime. Ah. Hey, wait, wait, that wasn't Nolan, it was the other one. Who did uh, um, Katoshi Kon, right? Like that's the Paprika creator, uh, Paprika filmmaker. He, um, oh, that's the other. Uh, yeah, the high is fine. It's, also, you can say, say good morning, whatever feels right to you, you can say whatever you want. It's many fish sticks. It's um, it's morning somewhere, you know, always. Okay. So remove the exclamation point, that's fine. Um, the next step is UI overhaul. And like this sounds complicated, but actually it's, it's kind of simple. Um, I just want, when I press start here, I just want to start immediately into the game. I don't want this, this thing to be happening. And maybe that's that's a little bit. Again, this is this is just like temporary. Um, I will eventually come back. And and bring this back. But for now, start the game is good.
Okay, so we when you start the game and we do the butt. Oh no, so inside the start game function. Okay. Is there no left cell? Is that the problem? Yeah, I think there's no left cell. Okay, yeah, we can just like that. that that's, I guess, the problem here. Um, we can go like left cell equals equals one. Um, we can remove this. Just not gonna do any S rent. a bit jerky the, the the cards flying into this place so maybe sometimes it's something that we maybe think about fixing later not today one three four nine one okay one three four nine one okay let's try this one same That's that's might be. Let's do floor R and D. What's the maximum number in PQA? Forget. <clears throat> I keep on losing my focus. I need to turn on my lamp and get into the zone. <laughs> uh, ain't that the story, right? That's a mistake here. Mistakey. See, see that? That that's not good. I know why. See, good that we did this. I have to say. Uh, there's uh, there, the mistakes have been made during to our development this game. Like the update function is just unsufferable. It's just so long, and there's uh, so much stuff. Like look how much we just need to just create a, this circle, right? So many variables being juggled. It's it's a bit of a mess. Like this, <laughs> these are just the. I feel like this this could have been easier. And <clears throat> um, H drag and H dr drag equals zero.
Okay, so 29739. undo that's also good sweet 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 caroline okay by the way can we i just wanted to see something can i undo now oh i can and i should not be able to do this Ooh. um that I did it correctly here. Oh, see? Oh, it has to be on. Okay, that's okay. Um, there's one thing that I'm don't sh not sure how to do, and that is I would love to be able to print the seed somewhere, and I don't know where. Like, I, obviously, I have the seed now at the end of the level. Um, but it would be nice if, if we could somehow hide it somewhere, you know? So um, if people are playing the game, uh, and uh, they encounter a level and they think, oh, that might be actually not solvable. So they can send me the seed and then I can put in the seed and then see myself if it's solvable. And I know where, exactly where to do this. It would be, of course, nice if it, it would, if, like, if it happened here somewhere. How many menu items can we add to it? Five. Yeah, I, I have some slots. I don't have a lot of slots. I have some slots. Um, but yeah, maybe we could maybe add one here, right? This is a little bit of a hack. I do a just no callback whatsoever, just like this. 
Eh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I also learned about how the menu item without anything clears them just today or just just during this Yeah, there's a seed right there and doing it does nothing Eventually today we're gonna tackle the tutorial. <clears throat> so I guess that was the UI of a whole. That's that's it. I, I made it up to be more of a deal than it ended up being actually. I guess at some point I <clears throat> I want to maybe have a UI where can input their own seats. Yeah, I like it without the exclamation point. I have to agree. Whoever suggested it <coughs> was, was a good person. Juice, the halo dots. Are the halo dots important? Um, you know what? A screen transition is way more important, I think. Um, let's just prioritize the juice that we're doing. Um, glow in mainstream, I would not be against that. Quick halo stop positions. We already did that. Halo connect juice. We no, no, not quite did that. Set up juice. Yes, that would be also good to have. In game bubbles would be also nice. These are not as important, I feel. So just like prioritize. Or. <clears throat> Credits over all. Because we have a lot of um, uh, how we call it screen space? No, the, a lot of um, sprite sheet space. So we could maybe put in some beautiful logos in the in the beginning. That would be funny. Um, Release latest. Post release. So there's a lot of post release, but yeah, release. Um. Uh, oh yeah, also card image um, but maybe that's something we're gonna do tomorrow ah I don't, I don't want to put too much of well it's def definitely gonna be something that we have to do before release so okay
it, it, it. This is gonna be a big one, the tutorial. And then credits overhaul. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do screen transitions. Um, let me let me look at it up like like. Like what? How did I did it in other games? I always had like a cool way of doing this. Just like reminding myself. There is a video I watched today. Um, so if you know the no clip people, they've been recently like doing a lot of <clears throat> interesting video work. And I think one of the guys who was working behind the scenes is kind of trying to get in game development. And they uh, and Kenfi does like a game dev um, diary, which is fine. And he was like doing a video today about, um, you know, this this thing that pe we say to new game developers that we like old game developers, <laughs> like me, I guess, uh, saying uh, to newcomers that you should focus on small prototypes, small games, and finish small games. And he was kind of like he was a new developer. I mean, he's not young necessarily, I think, but. Um, like he's not a teenager, you know, but um, um, but he's a beginner, and he um, he was kind of like trying to interpret that tip. Um, I'm not sure where, what, how do I even. Um, sorry, I'm just like looking through my projects and looking for the project that might have the best fading code. Um, yeah, so... And it was interesting to, to listen to him argument, uh, do, do, do the argument. Um, uh, like look, argue and, and, and like r rationalize himself through what he did, did and kind of try to square what he does with, you know, the tip that, that he had. Um, you should watch that video though, totally. It's, it's No Clip. That's, that's the name of the channel, No Clip, uh, in one word. Um, and I found that, that interesting, something that he said... What is this? Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's particles animation. Okay, we can we can drop that. We're not doing particles. Yeah, we, part. Let's just delete particles parts. Draw parts. Yeah, we don't don't have that. No particles. No parts. And some of the things that he talks about are things um, that I take umbrage with, or like I don't, don't want to seem, seem too combative. I don't want to like you know, destroy him with facts and logic, you know. Um, but it's something that I came to question. Uh, especially with time. Um, and so one of the things he, he thinks um, that he's doing, because he's doing a lot of prototypes, and I think it's, it's fine that he's doing a lot of prototypes, they look, look pretty cool. Um, but also, like, I see him working in Unity and working with a lot of 3D prototypes, and it seems like, oh my gosh, why would you do this to yourself? Um, and another thing that he also does is he like starts a lot of projects and, band and kind of abandons them or like works a lot of projects in parallel, which... Um, and then he has like this idea that, um, oh, I did this prototype and I'm not going to continue working on it anymore, but now I have this code for this behavior of the enemy and then I can reuse that code. Uh, and that that was the justification for me doing this prototype. And it's not just like that I experimented and that I got better, uh, which he also acknowledged is important, but also I, now I have this code to build upon. And um, I think code reusability is something that is 
severely overrated um, because um, there is sometimes little things like especially here you know I'm, I'm fading things here so it's kind of nice to be able to, to copy code from one place to another um, but also like over time the way I'm doing fading has evolved um, so I never actually re reuse the code you know one to one I always change up the, the way I, I fade things Okay, so mm -hmm. this is special stuff like me, the unit part. I don't like uh, reusing stuff, but I made a whole module th module thingy to handle stuff, and I want to use that for other things. Yeah, but the problem is like the. the at any given point when you write code, uh, moving on from that point, you are the least experienced person, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> like if you consider, if you consider, uh, you know, the snapshot of you in time as being a participant in the project, then that person that you're writing code today is the least experienced person. So reusing that person's code is a bad idea. You would never want to reuse the least experienced person's code. You would want to reuse the most experienced person because but that's always the person who's the most in the future so to speak so you always want to rewrite code because you're always the most qualified person <laughs> looking back compared to the, what you already had um, there's of course caveats to this you know sometimes you're just like in it in a project and you're really like in tune and you have everything in your mind and then you leave a project behind and you come back and you don't really have all the context in your head anymore so then it might be worthwhile just like working with what you already have um, but um, but yeah the stuff that you wrote ages ago doesn't hold up in, in the long term and so it's like obsessing about re code user, re usability, reusability is not that good there is it's not just like black and white obviously there is obviously I reuse the code now it's because it's easier to just take the existing code and just um, re-evaluate this rather than starting with a blank slate mm, but yeah I think it's worthwhile just not to uh, obsess so much about code user reusability especially once you start sacrificing things in order to make, make the code reusable in the long term that's where it really gets I would say toxic and I think that's why I always harp so much against object-oriented programming because object-oriented programming had this idea right at its core that you can create like this in isolated modules of code and then you can shift them between projects um, and also use those as a way of, of people working on the code together. And that didn't quite work out this way and it never actually delivers on that premise in my experience. It just creates like very difficult code. Yeah, no, programming is weird, but yeah, a lot of stuff is like very general. And then I even have to rewrite my thingy in the first place. I spent months doing that. Picoit is nice. I can just throw away a lot of this long-term stuff for the most part. Yeah, I have some older stuff that is super OP, and I hate it. Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you create factories to spill out objects and the objects then spill out other objects and then that's where some of the magic happens but also in this other object that is kind of like a, a singleton as well that also does some of the work and that actually they have to communicate so you're using this kind of weird hack in between the, <laughs> the message system <laughs> and then in the end you will have a really good pause screen that you can reuse between projects <laughs> Uh, okay, so I do say does. Mm -hmm. um. <clears throat> okay, so here's ah, and then there's fade out. That's that's the two functions that I always work with: do fade and fade out. Um, now I already have a fade function, so I want to make sure. Yeah, this this is my 
current fate function. It's kind of very similar to, to what we had. So I feel like we don't need a do fate function. The only difference is that this has i, so this is working with a different scale from 0 to 16, or to 15. <clears throat> and um, I, this doesn't apply to screen palette. Uh, is the draw palette zero? I just want to make sure if the draw palette is zero. This is a really nice song and it incorporates this awkward laughter, the, the one that, that's running right now, uh, from Final Fantasy X, that awkward laughter on that beach. And I love it. That, that They took this horrible sound and they turned it into this chill out sound. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> um, pill. Local pill equals pill or zero. I think that, that's how it works, right? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, but I don't plan to like, like to like heavy reuse the stuff. Yeah, for a while I was lost and I didn't know how to handle state and everything. I spent a lot of time overthinking it. IDK. Uh, anyways, I stopped jabbering. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, like I, sometimes there is modules where it's like, oh, I can like that's something you have to look where. I always think of projects as having like some kind of like boundaries. Where can I draw a boundary, you know? And sometimes when you're working on something, you find that, you know, oh, wow, this is like this area that is, has this perfect boundary. And I can slice this off at this point. Because this little specific thing can be actually something I can reuse lots of time. And then th that's fine. If you find this kind of perfect boundary where it's like, ah, oh, perfect, then I think it's good. Um, although I, I'm kind of hard pressed find well and sometimes I'm copying individual functions from other projects that I just like for example oh yeah yeah that's a good example like in my tool tab that that's where I usually have code that I reusing from other places cprint I mean <laughs> well I just rewrote that from scratch right um, distance um, sign two yeah definitely uh, ooh, what is this oh yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, copy card, definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah, like these kinds of things. And oh, I don't have sp oh, split 2D. Yeah, that's a perfect example of something I just reuse all the time. And I think it's pretty compact. Yeah, I don't think I can. So like this, like this, this little thing that I prepared, and I just kind of reuse it over and over again. Uh, but it's like very specific, you know, very narrow, and some also something that also comes uh, you rec come to re recognize it over with when you do something a lot and you realize, oh, I just keep doing this over and over again. So it makes sense to to create this uh, to make this in a module, I think. Okay, so this do f so we don't need to fade. Um, but we need this. So this will fade the table, right? Um, and then we can do here, instead of do fade, we're going to do go fade, fade perk um, times 15, comma, one. Mm -hmm. And then fade out. Um, this is what will allow me to fade out, you know, on the spot. Um, but I do have to do fade perk. One. 
Um, yeah, helper stuff is great. I always use split now and I got like ease and lerp. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, these are really good things. I guess in Pico 8, a lot of the API to make games is already there. So I don't have to worry about the design mantra. Yeah, yeah, that's also true. Mm -hmm. uh, in other development engines, you have to deal with a lot of like technical stuff. Um, because you have additional control over things that you actually never want to control in the first place. <laughs> So, so yeah, uh, like a, a lot of lip services paid to that, and, and, and when you already have like this groundswell of of menial tasks, then it makes sense to expand it on on other things. Right. So I think this works. Now I just want to make sure where do I actually change fate perk? Um, this is this is my. Set to zero at the beginning. Wait, I never fade out. Oh, oh yeah, I do, I do the fade. Okay, so this is basically doing the fading. Okay, that's good. So. <clears throat> So let's say, let's set fade perk. To zero. Making sure that it doesn't look wonky or anything. And now we can do So here, uh, go to start. Fate, yeah, yeah. We we don't have two fate. We just have fate. Uh, oh, we don't have a wait. That's also a good function to have. Didn't work. Ah, I know why. I understand. Oh, that's sixty. Fading, I don't, I don't enjoy. Yeah, the, the, I don't like the. I ex imported that bright green, but now I don't like the bright green. Yeah, it was a bit harsh, a bit fast too. Um, so let us make the speed a bit slower. Yeah, it tr turns like black. How how does it turn black? You know what I'm saying? This is this seems like broken. Oh yeah, also yellow as well. 
feels like something went kaput there. Is it one off or something? Maybe? Yes, the, the, we, get, we have the yellow, but we don't actually have the yellow. Yeah, we replaced the yellow with the wood and we don't have the black. The colors come up here that I never actually used, which is odd. Yeah, it seems like my previous pulse statement is kind of ignored. What if I do it afterwards? See, I wanted to implement this and I thought it would be, ah, oh, it's going to be like this easy win. There is no such thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm using, um, they sh uh, let, me, let me look it up. So this is uh, 15, okay. Um, yeah, I'm using, this is my fate table. problem now. The fade table fades around. Oh, that's an interesting problem, actually. So do I have to have two fade tables now? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I have to, right? Yeah, I think I have to have two fate tables. No, no, yeah. Oh man. Oh, that's luckily it won't be that big video. It's just like, ooh. By the way, how are we on the, our resources? 60, ah, that's okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought I could get away with one fate table for the draw fate table and the um, screen fate table, but I can't. Or maybe I can. We're gonna see if I can. But yeah, the problem is that I've, I'm using a fate table that references um, 
the already changed colors um, f because I want to just manipulate the draw statement. So I want to be able to fade a draw statement and then I will reference the colors that I've set up for my color palette. Um, but now I'm doing a screen fade table. So that's supposed to fade differently. Um, Seems like a waste of CPU, but uh, but a lookup in the fade table would be nice. Yeah, that might be might be easier, right? I, because I, that's something I can do. Oh, that's that's a good idea. I could get around with this. Uh, get, get around this. Zero one. So let's let's do something like this. I was already a bit I should have been tipped off when I had to do this. That shouldn't that should shouldn't be necessary, right? Technically I wouldn't have to be I would could get away with this, right? I could just like do this and this, and this should take care of everything. It should be able to fade, have to fade the table only once. Um, okay, so let us fix this problem with code. So we're gonna go fade out. No, here fade the fade thing. I wonder why this is happening. This should, this should be necessary. We could go like local i equals uh, min 16 uh, floor i. And then you don't need this anymore. I think. Okay, and then we're done, gonna do something like TC equals. This if PL equals one, then and uh, TC equals fade table uh, seventeen. You're right, it worked a little bit. Right, right, right. I know, I know the problem. No. Maybe, maybe this is what we're looking for. No, let's, let's try. <laughs> okay. Uh, why did that happen? That, that's so wild. <laughs> that is so wild.
Oh, we don't, I, I see the problem. I think we just need to do I, and then we can do this. No. It's almost worked. Oh, I, I know. We might, it might be actually working. It's just like um, a palp. I think, I think this is a palp problem, is it? Yeah, I wanted to. Um, SPR fifteen. Uh, Four, two. See, uh, I think everything is changed except zero. Zero is not changed, and I think that's a transparency problem. Oh, right, right, zero, obviously, because um, let me see. Right, because zero, mm. uh, there's nothing in zero. TC equals zero and 17 or TC. No, that didn't, didn't work. Sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Now it works. Yes. And we could get away, uh, get get rid of this code by making the fade table better. Maybe, I don't know. Um, right, so this works. Um, let me make the fading uh, normal again, the, the speed that I initially had. little bit fast. So 0 0.02. Um, a little bit slow for... Oh, what is the speed at which we're usually fading? Uh, the default fade out is 0 0.04, so that's exactly what I ended up with. And the default wait time is 0. Okay, so I think um, 0 0.02 and then 30 second fade out. Let's try that. <laughs> okay. Uh... Why was it black? That's just so wild to me.
Okay. I had that problem before. The problem is that when I fade completely, uh, it, it, it oh, oh. You give fade perk to turn into, oh, let's, let's do fade. Uh, fif, 15, on. let's see how that looks. See, 15 looks black. I don't like that. Why does 15 look black? Oh wait, do we have 50 entries? No, one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, we have sixteen entries. Uh, the music is um, a game chops. It's called Game Chops, Zelda and Chill. So if I equals 15, ah, then we're gonna get 16. this real quick if that's the problem okay that's apparently a problem uh, if it was 15 that was okay okay good so I guess what we're learning from this is that 14 is the maximum number for some reason some kind of error somewhere in there but it's 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 not too bad and it's it's not To, let's go back to the zero. I thought it was a bit choppy and, and slow. Yeah, I think it looks better if, it, if it's, it's faster, but you wait in between longer. Half of the bug are typos, the other half are offsets and can't exist. <laughs> That's programming for you. Just, um, it's quietly not, slightly not linear. I feel, but it's okay. Okay, screen transition done. Oh, also we sh maybe should do the screen transition when we are returning from the game. So, um, let me click okay. Also, we do the fade out. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I was. Uh, I, I'm also noticing that the green is a little bit too saturated. Mm, we would have to adjust this, the fading table for this. I'm gonna do this post release. Remove saturated, saturated green. Yeah. Thanks for mentioning this. Yeah, I also thought it was a bit. Uh, it's it's a lime green. I like the lime green, but it's, it's a very vibrant color and we're working with such earthy tones. It's just too much. <clears throat> okay, uh, so this is done. Glow and mainstream. I can do this real quick and I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do a small lunch break. And then we'll be back afterwards. Um, so the glow in the main screen is actually a pretty, pretty simple idea. <laughs> and then I'm gonna spend half an hour tweaking this. Um, no, nah, it's gonna be fine. Um, so when we are drawing the girl, Famous last words. That's right. You guys, you guys know how this works. You guys already know what it is. Um, so here is wait. No, that's not where we're drawing the girl. This is here's where we're drawing the girl. Um, after we draw the girl, I want to do a circle fill. Um, I'm gonna put it where the girl is, and then we're gonna fine tune the circle fill. Uh, and it's gonna be like 30 and red. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> Not what I wanted, but that's, you know, we're getting there. So let's move it up. Okay, let's make it smaller. Let's make it 10. Okay, and now a bit lower, 50, 50, 50. That's good. Um, maybe even smaller than that. Maybe eight would be okay. Okay, and then we do another circle. Um, with a higher radius, 12. Uh, we're gonna have a different color. Uh, visible color, uh, 14, 15, 16. Okay, um, so if you look at the, maybe, maybe a bit lower, I'm, I'm still thinking lower, maybe 60. And that means that uh, this has to be, yeah, 12, 13. Ah, uh, but now, see, it's kind of encroaching, so it has to be higher. I didn't account for the breathing. Ah, uh, it has to be higher still. Um, Four or something. Dream Orb, that's right. So the idea is that I want the... Um, if there's things... <laughs> so, uh, if you look at the art, let's pull up the art. This is the fading table that I've been looking at. This is... Uh, let's clean up a little bit. No, don't save it. You look at this well technically it's actually in inside her face right but there's like a glow inside her inside her right and this is actually why this outline is interrupted here um, there is kind of like there's supposed to be like a glow in on her head and that glow kind of like um, outshines the outline 
um, that's the idea here. Like there's, there's like a gradient, there's a bright spot there and that kind of like makes, uh, makes and that's actually why the hair shading is like this as well. Kind of like the glow from this orb, this glow, again, this probably should be more, more higher up. But in general, the idea is that there's like a glow in her head area that, that uh, outshines uh, the rest of the line art. I think that's how it was intended. And, um, and I kind of copied the line art without copying the glow because the glow is kind of difficult to do because we don't have the gray background. Um, but um, I, I think I, like now we have like stuff beh appearing behind her and it's, it's kind of like she looks completely opaque. There is the, none of that glow happening anymore. And I will kind of maybe want to bring back the glow. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so I want to draw this um, a white, a white uh, sphere there that will kind of like shine on top of, like will, it will cover up the things, the, um, the particles behind her. And it's like a little detail, but I think it, it might it might look nice. Let's do seven, let's put this to seven. And this is gonna be seven, but it's, it's gonna be palt. And then let me turn the palt off. And it looks the same. Oh. Oh, right, because we have to do it the other way around. No. No, it, it's... No, that's not part. Uh, F... 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 Fill P. Always confusing part and your PC. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, good luck. Um, I thought video remapping and turning the BG15 to 6 would look like a good glow, but that's a lot of tokens uh, and time when Phil P would work too. Uh, I actually, in my screen design, I did designs with. Um, with you know, be, uh, with other background colors uh, other than white, and it always was too dark. Um, the gray in the original screen design is very subtle, and the and the <laughs> color palette of Big is not known to be subtle. <laughs> yeah, see that that looks a lot nicer now. And that's again, that's not a big deal, but it's just a, just a little detail there. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, the, the problem is, the problem is the, that's the peach color is actually the brightest color. Uh, I'm using the white, the seven. A seven is not perfectly white. It's a little bit, a little bit peachy. And the color of the orbs is 15. That is the brightest color after seven. Um, if you um, turn the peach color uh, 15 into six, that will look darker. That will look as if you darkened the, the peach. In a fading table, um, all the colors collapse into six or 15, but 15 doesn't color, uh, collapse into six. Um, yeah, that's not a big deal, but it's sometimes when there was an orb behind her head, you could just see like the perfect <laughs> curvature of her head, and that just like felt like, ooh. Um, video encoding. Yeah, yeah, obviously streaming and so forth. Um, right. In game bubbles, I am not that, I don't think are such a big important deal, but I think setup choose is something that we definitely want. 135 would maybe be the next step, but 15 is greater than 135. What is which one is 135? Oh man, I don't have a look at it. Oh, well, maybe I do have. Uh, go colors. 
alt white. <laughs> that sounds racist. Oh yeah, like the, the, yeah, the extremely uh, yellow, the extremely yellow. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, like going from the peach into the, into the, the coal there, yellow, is, is, yeah, it's a little difficult. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, political. Um, yeah, well, by, by the way, also, that's something else I want to discuss. I'm kind of like trying to find a, a good... Um, a good middle ground there, but I definitely, <laughs> this video will end on YouTube, yeah, <laughs> suddenly this one video gets like <laughs> so many more views, like <laughs> because I mentioned it. <laughs> uh, and then people like, oh, I just let my kid watch Teletubbies and suddenly your video came up. <laughs> Why? Um, yeah, I, that's something I also wanted to discuss in phase two of the Schmuck tutorial, like the, the political uh, stuff like the you know games are being political. I think this is um, I think it's worth mentioning this because it's also one of the things that is uh, Important to consider when you're setting up your game. I think a lot of games um, a lot of people don't think about this stuff and They end up saying with the games things that they don't want to be saying and then people call them out for that and then they get defensive and then They get more radicalized and you know of the whole pipeline um, so I think just being aware of what you're saying with your game, I think that's... And like being okay with what you're saying with your game, I think that's an important aspect. Good. So, um, do I want to do the setup juice now? No, because that, that actually will require me to dive in a little bit. So actually I will, um, do you guys want me to turn off the stream? Because I will take at least half an hour uh, for lunch. Do you want me to turn off the stream? Or do you want me to um, uh, let the stream run with the background and then... I will turn it off, right? Like it's just a bit too long to, to have just a static image for that long. Um, Pico, it is too simple for statements. Um, yeah, but there's still like, there's a lot. Save the kilowatts, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, and it's not, not um, political statements in the sense of, you know, grants, you know, um, not, not necessarily in the sense of, um, um, how do you want to say? Not in the sense of like, um, like essays, you know, like like having a, a political um, manifesto that you're trying to communicate, but in the sense like, what are the things that you just pick up along the way, copying other games, uh, and you don't question it because it's just part of the, the genre and then just making sure that these things that you pick up are kind of like the things that are um, So it's not the same thing exactly, but I was listening to Derek Hugh talk about Spelunky Yeah, that's a good idea and uh, example and how uh, that he has a daughter is more conscious about having female characters uh, I always worry. I'm going to be rude on accident. I spend a lot of time thinking about it. yeah, that's, that's the that's the that's the the thing that you it's not that you intend to do anything, but if you don't think about these things, you might accidentally say something that you don't want to say. And then you are, that's a very awkward position to be in because you, if then people call you out on this, you are getting very defensive about this, like, no, I'm not, that's not what I want to say at all, you know? And then um, you start um, being defensive about this and you start antagonizing the people who, who call you out on this and, uh, you you can very quickly get into like a very awkward situation. So uh, I think it's important to 
um, be more aware of what what a potential game can say and then if you are being called on out and something then be more uh, avoid putting yourself in this kind of defensive position It's easy to let your own political assumptions slip into design without being consciously aware of implications. I think if it's your own assumptions, then you wouldn't be get defensive about this, right? Um, I think the problem is when it's not your assumptions. Most of the charts in games are generous on human. Uh, in shooting nature, yeah, that's okay. Political not meaning political parties, but assumptions, yeah, yeah, exactly. Not, not political parties, uh, although that could be also political parties. Like to could also align with agendas of political parties, but um, more like. So I think the um, Spelanke thing is really good because it's not only that that he the Rekiu started to think about this when he got his um, when he became a uh, dad, uh, but also before that. So in Spelanke there is this example that there is this uh, initially in original design there was this um, damsel that you could rescue and that was kind of like a throwback to Indiana Jones stories where you know there was a damsel and Indiana Jones would swoop in and, and rescue her. And, you know, like if you just copy this template, it, it's, it's a stereotype, right? It's, it's kind of part of the, of the stereotypes that um, Splunk is working with. And to some extent, like he, like I assume, assuming um, Derek, you just like did this because yeah, he wanted to copy the damsel stereotype, right? And um, that was fine for a while, but then, you know, there was like discussion, okay, why, why are we always rescuing the women and why is it always the man rescuing, women? you know, like this, it's, it's, a, it's a sexist stereotype that he just like inherited from um, the genre that he was working in without actually being in the intention of, of creating like, this sexist stereotype. So, and then he tried to fix it and it was difficult <laughs> because um, he added the dog and the, and uh, like a sexy hunk, like like you would. Also, there was like a male damsel, like to to make it like you know <laughs> equal. Um, but the weird thing is, is the it, it, there is no such thing as the male damsel in distress. So that that wasn't equivalent because we already went into certain we already look media with certain assumptions. So like just putting a man that you sometimes rescue is doesn't fix the problem because there's still the woman and that woman is the stereotype that one sends out. Um, and it was good and smart uh, in Spelunky 2 to say like okay the dog is the canonical damsel now you just always rescue the dog. Um, just kind of like avoid having having the damsel in distress in, in the game. And something that I really appreciate about Derek Yu, and that's something that that's really that really built up the respect towards him, and that really makes him to me somebody I look uh, up to, uh, towards. Is when he faced this uh, this criticism that about the damsel, he did not put he did not put himself in the d d defensive position where it's like no, you know I'm not I just like blah, blah, you know. Um, this was a character assassination, you know. Uh, he listened to the arguments and he explained why he did things and, and acknowledged that he wasn't aware of certain things and he wasn't actually thinking all the way through, the consequences all the way through. And he, he tried to fix the problem because he admitted that he, that, wasn't his, that wasn't his intention. That the game was saying something that he didn't want to say. And that's obviously something that should, you should be concerned about and not trying to make it work somehow, you know, by just fending yourself. Um, okay, sorry for this political ending. Uh, this is going to be some food for thought. I will be back in half an hour a bit, and then we're going to jump into, into setup juice and the tutorial. See you in a second. <laughs> Sudden start. I have returned, I have received sustenance. Squid light. Adding one last comment on the last political discussion. It's not, it's more complicated though. I agree, it is a complicated topic. That's why I'm kind of struggling how to um, you know, wrap it up quickly without getting glossed in details. Again, it's one of political discussions are difficult because people get very defensive. Um, 
And again, I think it's often boils down to the fact that people don't want to. Uh, they don't want to be. Um, simplified by other people like their um, opinions don't want to be simplified by other people okay i wanted to post uh, an announcement in my discord chat step is set up juice uh, and also I want to maybe add one more thing um, uh, lane indicators um, yeah I want that uh, I don't know how though we have to figure this out but yeah I want to have something on the screen so we can see where a lane is because I notice when I, I call it lane but I notice when I'm playing the game I sometimes don't really see where I'm supposed to be dropping one of the things, so it would be nice if there was like some dots here, you know, indicating where where the where the things are going. Let's do maybe the lane indicators first. Hey, it's many fish sticks. Um. Draw, draw game. And I feel like this, this lane indicators, well, let's, let's put it lane indicators. And let's do this like, let's do them the, the most boring way possible. For i equals, equals uh, zero to three do. Um, let's look at gameplay. Place heaps. There we go. Yeah. Mm, there we go. I times 10, 20 plus 10. Um, draw. I heard a beep. What was the beep? What was the beep? Did you guys hear the beep? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's a package. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Again, still not quite what we're looking for. Um, so at 14, I guess. No, I, yeah, okay. See, now it's, it's clear where things are, but now also, that's something I also want to pay attention to. Uh, like this, yeah. Oh, it actually scrolls, nice. Well, that's good. <coughs> um, what if we do a fill P? I always have to find it. There we go. 
how, how does that look? Oh, <laughs> we should turn this off again. That looks funny. It's weird when it, when it's scrolling, it, it it doesn't move. So that that's a bit of a that looks a bit odd. So it, it might be actually worthwhile doing it a piece. I think. Yeah, it's a readability thing. I, but no, we can we can do it better. Don't worry. We 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 can pull it off. It'll be fine. For j equals zero to sixty four. I'm gonna piece it. Uh, okay, this comma J comma six. Okay, so now we're drawing a solid line, but when we do it like every four. We can, we can space this out. What about eight? It's a bit too much, eight, I think. Uh, six seems seem okay. Maybe, what if we do it 15? can maybe even do something like plus sign. J divided by, I don't know, 32. Maybe a bit too much. Maybe just sign is enough. Hey Gilbert, how are we doing? See, this looks a little bit, a little bit wonky, and I like that. <clears throat> and also wanted to maybe at the top, um, I wanted maybe. Because now is the time, right? Oh, uh, by the way, I had these here, but uh, I haven't touched them. I um, don't know if I, I will touch them, but maybe we can do like um, something like this, you know, at the top. Let's try that. Uh, two, two, four, six. SPR, two, four, six. Comma, um, this, comma, zero. Let's try that. And this is not ideal because I'm kind of doing screen design on the fly here, but. Um, Those are actually enough, you, you know? Maybe actually I don't need any more indicator than this. Maybe that's, that will be actually enough. Just little dot at the, at the top edge. And this is good. And it allows us to way, way more precise of where we're putting things. Maybe just just like really just like this. Yeah, yeah, that looks actually a lot better. It's, it's really uh, you know really uh, yeah. 
yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really subtle pink. I just want to make sure that the different wavy lines are a bit offset. Stop at some point, but it's good because I also want to maybe have some indicator when things are scrolling. And kind of like a distance indicator a little bit. One thing I didn't do, or maybe we should do that as well. We're gonna put this on the, on the list. Um, keyboard uh, halo crap position. <laughs> Difficult thing. Um, but I have a function. Not the functions, that's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I have a, I have a, not a draw, uh, an update function. Mm, update game. When I'm pressing down, cell H. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go where we animate the halo, that is also an update. And this, this one. No, 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 um, but near this one. There we go. So if drag is not equals nil and this, oh, this is a in quotation, interesting. And this or this. The only problem is now, when I'm moving the mouse around, it's, it's technically still selected that. There's a bit, of a, a bit of a bug here, but I don't think that would... Oh, interesting. Ooh. Oh, no, it's correct. See, now it kind of like stuck this way. Oh. Right click should cancel the dragging option, uh, dragging thing. So, update. something and I don't know what I did. I hate when that happens. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, H cell? Was it H cell? Cell, or was it cell H? Oh, I already forgot. It isn't it? Oh, that's a start screen. I am, there we go, cell H. This is so long. Man, that's, that's one of the reasons why you want to maybe split things into, into functions, just to, so we can jump into certain areas quick, more quickly. <clears throat> this little maneuver cost us a minute. Uh, 
Um, now back to the mouse button. So if button else. Huh. If last the L is not equals uh, the R is not equals but R, we can just also say if but R and um, drag is not equals. Oops, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, then cancel drag. Eh, 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 eh. Drop track zero. Oh, right. Ah, okay. That's an interesting. Uh, it's an interesting problem. So if I have it in now, I'm dragging things around, but I'm actually not. I don't have to. Just was a bit weird. Uh, let's uh, finish the level to see how it looks with the lines when the level's finished. look like if they're gray after all because I think the gray might fit better to the gray of the girl the peach is a little bit ah. I do like the peach because it's very bright um, but Maybe not quite to 64, let's go 48. Yeah, if there's, an, like, because I actually already need it if, if it's empty. Hey, good morning, Sonogia. Well, good afternoon. Oh, you know what would be fun if... I equals... Different length. That would be fun, huh? So it's empty. What? Let's try it again. You are completely right. No, what? The 
with an eye in that loop. Use this eye, right? Ah. Uh, but I think we can do even shorter. I think we can do like 32 and 48. Uh, actually, 32 is a bit, let's go 38. I think this is good. I think I'm gonna leave it gray. And technically we could do this with a, with a line statement, but. Gone keyboard halo prep. But we did that. We, there's a little bug, but I, I, and it's not too big. Right key cancels track. Okay. Um. Yeah, setup juice. zero uh, start game let's bring back This is generate cards, right? Generate cards. I, I feel almost like we should maybe do this stuff together. I don't like how 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 those two state things are separate from each other. Let's just do it. We can generate the cards and shuffle them into heaps together. So why is this? Okay, um, test deck. And this is single text card. Uh, we're gonna remove them at some point, uh, but this is just because we might bring it back at some point. So let's generate the cards. Huh. 
Ah, that's that's where the J came from, right? No, no, I. Mm -hmm. I don't like how these little things are rotating underneath. That little, that's very distracting. Um, to do this. It's going to be a bit awkward, but let's, let's try that. S equals last I dot D Y plus oh, actually Y plus uh, eleven. If J is greater than X. Okay, so now we don't see the distracting dots. But if we remove something, then they, here they are. Now they're here. They are. Oh my gosh! This game is this extra difficult. Oh no! Or is it? Was that just like a really good RNG here? It'd be so funny if after all this work, I realized that the game is actually super trivial. This must have been some crazy easy RNG. Let's let's save that because that might be a, a good <laughs> like a newbie level. Or did I do something wrong? Look, they they're combining so much. I feel like I generate the cards wrong. I'm in trouble. I need to get the blue one. Yeah, I need to get the blue one. So I need to get this red, red, get rid of this one. And once one is gone, then the rest is, is easy. Uh 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Game owned me. <laughs> Immediately owned. <laughs> but what is the. Um, the uh, it felt like it repeated the, the, the key. No, it's a different key. Okay. But why are they so incredibly interconnected? I uh, it felt like it, it wasn't the case previously. See, it's... Yeah, the colors. See, the colors are art... Oh, I think we're, we're not doing colors current, correctly. Yeah, see, we have Del E here. Ah, oh, okay. That explains it. Uh, oh, man. We just... Yeah, we, that, that was... That was definitely an ordered uh, level. That was why, why it was so easy. I was like, for a second, I thought like, oh no, game's actually super easy. Baby game. Del Del, uh, Del Deck. Yeah, see now, okay. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, let's drop it in here. We have a lot of spiky boys. We would have to have a square boy or uh, uh, this boy. But actually, this boy would be good. Okay, never mind. Game is hard. <laughs> Yay, level. Uh, something I do not like, and I maybe we can fix this. I want to, it to fill the outer heaps first. Yeah. So prioritize second. No, 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 actually I want to prioritize second and fourth heap first. Then Three and, and two and three. I think that would be better. So it's like heap E R. And that doesn't technically change the level, but I think it looks just a little bit more nicer. Um, like a good move. If I move this away then I cannot connect this so that maybe doesn't help me that much. If I move this away I won't be able to connect anything. I, if I move this away I can... okay so like this. See I don't know if that was actually solvable level. Well maybe we can continue stacking things. Uh, we need this, but a different color. Oh, we can stack this, definitely. Let's get this. Mm. Oh, see, I can stack this now, but I, it's, I think it's repeating a little bit too much. So let's get this in here. I don't like the next this blue but let's get this in here um, if we can get this away 
Uh, definitely need to have a yellow. This one or the green one in here. Let's put the green one in here, but um, we might be screwed already. will expose this one. Yeah, and we can then we can do some stack MK. Okay, let's do that. And then maybe here. Uh, I was too quick. I was too quick. I should have maybe taken this down. I think that was the mistake. Oh now we can undo. Um yeah I think getting this down might be a smarter move expose some of the green green ones for us uh, we could go with this and no we want this out of the way so we get access to this because that's the one we want to get in there Not a lot of blues in here. Let's get let's get the yellow in here. Uh, and to close this off, we need another yellow, right? This one. Our game was correct, then we should be able. Yes! That was a fun experience! But it's also good to see that um, there's definitely easier levels and, and, and harder levels. Um, clearly, when there a bit was, was uh, when levels were a bit pre-sorted, it was way easier to complete it. So that's that's important. That's an important real realization. Okay, so here. Let's, let's make it like 60. Let's see what happens when I do that. Mm -hmm. Uh. Um. deck seeing a game look to be complete feels good I don't see that enough in my own mind <laughs> it's uh, it's good to get at that point that's, I agree uh-huh it's your, it's your leader X equals 60. I didn't think about uh, that though. Yeah, sorting them would make it easier and harder without new ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is generally, yeah, it's kind of difficult. You 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 want to have enough like knobs at which you can turn to modify the difficulty level. 
and like creating the level structure, obviously, uh, pre-sorting things would is definitely one way of doing this. Um, Show me something drastic. <laughs> that was drastic. Flying a bit fast. Let's see if we can animate and modify the card animation. Card. Animated cards. There we go. So we're dividing by two. How about we divide by card SPD? Oh, there's a maximum speed as well, but it's seven. Okay. Interesting, how they snap in. Oh, interesting. Okay, so maybe that would actually also help with the snapping because I noticed. Oh, that's good to know. See, good, good that I did that. Good that I did that. kind of like the speed at which we are flying and we're dividing it by no 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 okay we're dividing by maximum speed we do stuff but then we multiply it by f so we have to speed at which we're flying oh the speed gets slow but we don't necessarily have the speed to be slow we want actually the distance to be slow. Uh, yeah, okay. So if... Let's, let's go just like this, distance. Takes a little bit of work, but whatever. Wait, 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 wait. We can, we can get back from F to... So we multiply by max speed, and then we multiply by crd.spd, right? Yeah, see? It's a lot nicer now. Okay, um, CRD speed equals to once we arrived at once at the position we. Oh, 
Okay, uh, but now that that's initial speed was way over the top, so let's bring it down to five. I think it's a bit slow still. The actual cards are okay. want that I want I want I don't want this to be a soundless affair let's copy this God, no. Uh, yeah, that was good. Uh, I wish it was a bit louder. We can make it higher. I feel like it should be a bit mellow. out here. Red drop. Or a vibrato too. Maybe Nah, that's not good. Um Let's try this with uh, with just like regular sound effects. Might, not, might be just the thing I need. Oh yeah, that's that feels nice. A bit higher, so it's more. Ah, uh, that's not good. Uh, but maybe you can slow it down. Yeah, that that feels good. We can make it a drop. Just a little audible. Good morning, Gala Gamablantis. This reminds me when I explore, sometimes I like looking at SFX and seeing where they're ordered or if they go unused. It's like finding goodies and wondering what they're meant for. I'm sure, I'm not sure if I have much space, but in my game, I've been writing the soundtrack for uh, for, for a while. I have a lot of unused sounds laying around the project cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I get that. Yeah, sometimes there's the, the thing, 
it's a bit bad, but every time I work with a musician, I ha I'm kind of forced to make my sound effects at the end because the mus musician is working, you know, usually at the front because they are more accessible. The sound effects here are more accessible. So, so they're using the first sound effects for, for the music and then I have to like use the end for, the, for my sound effects. And that's why I usually store my sound effects. I probably should take more advantage of the fact that you can put multiple sound effects in one, uh, one SFX. Like I think a lot of sound effects could be just one here. Reverb is interesting because sometimes, or I think the tune out, sometimes the middle part is actually the best, best setting. Oh, that wasn't good. It just sounds like barfing. Thunder kept me waking up, so I decided I'd just get up. So can you stack the effects in, in one and play them? Yeah. Uh, when you play an S S a sound effect, you can specify which note of the sound effect it, will, it should play. So just by adding two numbers, you can get more out of the sound, eff sound effects. Uh, I just like never was in a position where it was necessary. And also, of course, always um, the speed and all of the uh, uh, filter settings are shared, obviously, in this case. So you yeah, have a little bit less opportunity. Um, Flexibility there. Okay. I wonder if I can, if I can be fast enough. Uh, no. Ah, I got it. <laughs> and I have some cards flying around. <laughs> Well, oh, actually, they didn't seem uh, didn't seem broken, so that's okay. Okay. It is time, ladies and gents. It is time pulling up my sleeves because it is time for the tutorial. Oh yeah, by the way, no. <laughs> little, little thing. I always like to do a ver equals v1. And then when we draw, Draw start. Uh, I'm gonna do a print where um, 126. Is that good? No, no. No, that that, that corner is, is not good. So just 116. It, it's all, all the way up in the corner. V1. We can even make it uh, 15, so it's kind of like nice and blending with the rest. Yeah, moving songs around even with some of the cut and paste is annoying at times, yeah. It was a factor in older game where I guzzled a lot of tokens and dumb things like storing multiple small sound effects in a single sound effect is so good for space. Yeah, filter stack if that's what you mean. Some of the filters are weirdly with sound effect instruments and some only stack like once. Um, now, what I meant is like sometimes um, when there's like in the three position sound effects uh, filters, uh, the detune, reverb, and dampen. And dampen maybe less so, but detune or reverb. Uh, there's three positions, so one is off, one is a little bit, and one is strong, I guess. Like, that's how I interpret this. But sometimes the middle one sounds very different from the very strong one. And it's, and it's not in the sense like it's less, but sometimes it's the middle one is actually more of whatever is happening. Or it's, it sounds like. Do, 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 do. Okay, we there's no there's no there 
is no going around this anymore. We have to de design the tutorial. And I, I, th I was thinking about how to do this. So I thought w the first step So the first step, oh gosh, give me, why, why this default to such a so, so big brush? So the first step is just, I thought we're gonna have just like two puzzle pieces. Maybe like three puzzle pieces. And it says like connect. Well, we're gonna think about the text later. So we just have to collect the puzzle pieces and they're stacked. So you have to move things around a little bit. Or maybe they're not stacked because that, that will complicate things. We just have like three puzzle pieces next to each other. Well, let's just have two puzzle pieces so it's like really clear what's supposed to do. And then the second one is once you have a, like a stack of two, it gives you two more pieces. But it says like uh, now the colors are important. Uh, and they say like create a st strip of three, um, but you know pick the the right one. Could we even give you maybe three. So you, the, the color is important now. My power just wonked out for a sec, so my internet died. I'm back for now, though. For what's happening? Yeah, we're doing the tutorial planning. So and then if the three length strip is happening it will say ah now it's important to say that so yeah you so you have to do like this right uh, you have to do like this now it says like it's important that you can move a strip together so it will show you Will spawn just one but now you have to move this it like this and then the fourth step is gonna be you have to yeah we have enough now a four four error strip and you're supposed to move it into the halo that's, that's the, that, until now the halo wasn't active, but now the halo becomes active. The, the girl shows up and then you can have to move it into halo. And then the fifth step would be complete the halo. You will get, you will get a whole bunch of, of cards. And then you have to complete the halo. And then when the Kalo is complete, that's, um, I thought it might, uh, we might get like a whole a bunch of cards, like the rest of the cards basically. And then, and then it's like, now it's your turn, complete this. And, and we're going to pre-program those cards. It's going to be a six step basically. Um, and it's going to say complete three halos to finish the game. So that, that was the plan maybe. Does that sound sound? Is that, is that, does that does it sound okay? That idea. What do you guys think? Sounds sounds okay, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just write down the text um, because oh, sometimes also maybe if a step has too many steps, there's. A lot of work for a final day. I don't know. Let's see uh, how much work that is. We're just spawning cards and writing text. That's all it, there is. It's. I don't think. I don't want to underestimate the amount of work required. Definitely, we're going to have to set up some things. But at the end, we are just using existing systems, except from the writing text. That's going to be a new system. That's going to be the, also that's the one that I'm a bit worried about. Uh, let's write a text. Uh, 
Um, so first, it's going to be maybe connect the pieces. Alternate colors, uh, colors, or pieces of the same color won't connect. Build a strip of three. Uh, you mean so I can see how much text that is? Why is 32 chars? Because that's how much fill fits into an, a line. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting I need more than one line. But uh, it is a good idea, I do agree. Connect the pieces. Pieces of the same color. Yeah, I definitely need one more than, than one line, yeah. Uh, the second line is a bit weird because it doesn't tell you what to do. Here it says connect pieces, but here it doesn't say, it just explains the rule. Maybe we need an additional line here, like, so we might need three lines. Three pieces into a strip. Track pieces that match a connector. That sounds a bit technical. Mm -hmm. You can move and and strip. <clears throat> That's good would be step number three. Grabbing is I don't think we need to specify this. I think if we if we say like there's here's two pieces, connect the pieces, then you know, I think it, it should be that should be obvious. Um I think I think this this part is kind of like clear. Um, the color thing is not intuitive. That's something we have to spell out. Maybe we don't need that part.
called it a halo, but I don't start a loop, maybe a loop. Uh, maybe Halo is, is okay. Because I am calling it Halo, and then uh, this would be the, the time to maybe come up with a different name. Um, now the number five is... But it's kind of like mind strip, yeah. But it's mind thought, mind shape, mind, mind loop, thought loop, memory loop, dream loop. Yeah, I don't. Uh, mind shape strip. Yeah, it's, it's none of this sounds. Maybe we're gonna find something, some some good. Thought strip, dream, dreamy cooking jigsaw. <laughs> Connect the shapes, uh, I got, because it's called shape of mind, right? So connect the shapes. Shapes of the same color won't connect. You can move a whole strip. Again, the top shape. I move a strip onto the girl to start a halo, complete the halo. Mind Taurus. <laughs> mind Taurus. That sounds like um, a device created by a supervillain. Welcome to the mind, Taurus! <laughs> Spider-Man, you won't escape the mind, Taurus! <laughs> no, that's good. Let's just, let's just run with Halo until... That's one of the things that we eventually will stumble over an idea. I just wanted to have like a first draft. And then complete three halos to win the game. Just to win. So yeah, we will need two lines most of the time. Yeah. So this is the idea for the this is the text possibly for the tutorial. Okay. Let us start. Yeah. Dreamer, yeah. Yeah, I don't like the girl because it's kind of like... We could give her a name. We could say, move a strip onto Lucy, you know. <laughs> um, the problem is like, it's she's not necessarily dreaming. And that's something that I, I initially I thought she was dreaming, but then I let, read the description of the card, which is not necessarily important, but still. And it's not necessarily dreaming. It could be also meditation. So I would, I want to be a bit vague about what the girl is doing. If she's doing yoga or if she's sleeping. Um, 
I will keep Dreamer. I think this is this is the, probably the best that we have right now. Um, but I, it would be also fine to just give her a name. So if anybody wants to be, uh, I could put oh, I could put my my daughter into the game. That would be fun. Let's call it Mimi. Uh, but nah, I, maybe maybe we're gonna fi figure out a cool name for for her. We can leave it dreamer for now. A toot step equals one. Whoa! Oh, YouTube is like oh, the, the they fell asleep at the at the wheel. Nah, I'm still there. Okay. Start game. Live tutorial equals true. Um, yeah, I mean not. We're not counting this as tries. My son older doesn't want his real name. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's just the first name, so I wouldn't use a full name. But yeah, that's fair. Um, I, I I'm not sure about that. Generate cards. Okay, so okay. Is, is, by the way, is that so? That's five tokens. If not tutorial, that's less tokens. It's probably less tokens, huh? Yeah, we're saving the whole token there. Okay, good. So we're not doing this. So here we're creating the cards. We might need a, we might put this in a
I think um, I see. I feel like I'm going insane when I work on my drums. I'm chucking these random blips and it's just chaos. Error, sprites not found. <laughs> Error! Game is actually broken. Beyond repair. Ninety-nine little bucks in the code. <laughs> Take one down, patch the runs. <laughs> That's that's programming right there. <laughs> oh, oh, ain't that the truth, huh? So this two. Um, I is one and two. Color is one and two. Let's go with three. Let's. I, I just want to find shapes that are kind of like recognizable. Oops, I'm going the wrong. Way. Oh, they act don't actually connect. Interesting. What? Really? They do connect, they just don't connect. So wait, so three and two. Oh, it's the same thing, that's gonna be a problem. They connect, yeah. Um, 
I want to put them a bit further down so it's clear. Um, it's a bit scary because we're using we're using very fun we're changing very fundamental functions. But yeah, place heaps CY. I don't know what to think of the lane lines, but now that I'm seeing them, I like it. I, it reminds me of the jellyfish attenders. Yeah, and I wanted, like that was the original idea. I don't know if I, I can still make it in a final version, but I wanted the lanes to be a bit more organic. Um, like even more extremely, like really like wavy lines. Also the individual pieces, me being a bit more um, um, distorted. I don't know if I, I will actually do it now, but um, was always the idea. song terminates once it overflows to zero. Could you reuse the way you created the wavy lines on the level select screen but change the amount of waviness and the orientation to for horizontal to vertical? Um, you want the wavy lines in the set level select screen? What do you want to... I mean there's a lot of waviness already in a way, level select screen. Is there some kind of wavy... Uh, waviness that you are thinking of in particular? You mean maybe the wavy line on where the levels are on to put it on there? The song terminates once it overflows to zero. What do you mean, agent APM? Um, okay, we are going to make need a function. The dotted lines that you have behind the cards, you mentioned them making more, them more, more wavy. I thought maybe you could draw them using the function. Yeah, 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 sure. Like it's not that's the problem is not that uh, I don't know how to make them more wavy, but it's like um, once you, I make the lines more wavy, then I would also expect the placement of the pieces to be different and maybe the pieces would also should not be just straight the, the way but maybe I curve the pieces and that's just a lot of a can of worms that I don't want to open right now oh still on the 19 little bucks yeah, yeah the song terminates once. <laughs> once it goes goes to zero it goes to 32,100 <laughs> see you smelly for sticks Uh, 
Okay. Uh... No, I'm saying see it to catch. Oh, catch is going. Ah, no. Ah, catch is explaining. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just like... Things are flying above my head. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being... I'm being... I have a thing going on here. Stack. Play seeps. Sure. I don't need to stack, but I do need to play... Well, let's, let's just do both, just in case. And another thing to do is function get longest or long longest string. This is actually a bit tricky now. Maybe you can reuse an existing function for this. The stacking function. Do that. <clears throat> Let's just call it L, and at the end we return L. curl current l l so if uh, they connect then um l and e stack equals true okay um curl equals uh, plus equal one else it don't connect curl equals one a uh, zero well actually it resets down to to one technically If curl is greater than L, then or let's let's say L equals max curl L. And then and then we do that after the loop as well.
Um, okay, so the biggest stack right now is here. Um, two, and that's that is correct. Still two. Can we get something out? Can we free something? Yeah, we can get this out. Yes. Okay, so now that stack is actually um, a way of us to see if, um, if the tutorial should, should progress. And now we're gonna scroll all the way down to the update function. If stack is greater than First, if tutorial and stack is greater than cut step, then cut step plus equals one, and then And it's really perfect, actually. Ah, uh, no. Uh, spawn. We don't need the STP. Uh, step. I thought I needed, but uh, I probably won't ne will never spawn a tutorial situation that is. So Won't be tracking stacks greater than six. Uh, okay, I think this might be this might be good. Um, debug one equals. We can that mm. oh, guys. I think I think we we we've, get, we've basically figured this out. Um, so let me see what the tutorial is, is saying here. Yeah, we need to drop three cards. Um, 
ah, but then we cannot continue anymore. Um, we will proceed to the uh, number four, but number four is where the halo activates and from there on um, we we have to do a figure out a different way of um, making the engine continue. What uh, I want to just see if that works. That's a really slick tutorial engine you got there. Yeah, I, I've been I've been thinking about this a little bit, and so I kind of have a bit of a um, head start. But let's see if this even works out. I won't actually test it on people, you know. Um, oh, see. That's actually not good. That's that's actually not the card that we need here. Do we need one? Do we need a card one here? Ah, oh, Jesus. Every <laughs> time. Okay. And so I guess then we need the card six here. Mm. No, not the card six. We then we need the card four. It's a bit backwards from the way I thought it would be. Ah, oh, Jesus, ever time. See, now we should have the next step, next stretch, but should be dragging things into it. And also, I kind of want to clear out. Um, the reason why I want to clear out the ones is that if there's some debris left over, I might put the debris into the halo and then the level the yeah the level will be unsolvable. So I have to have this function of um, going through all of the heaps. today okay so we're stacking I, I also feel like maybe um, doing three is too much just like let's, let's just drop two let's just drop through two colors <laughs> it will happen a lot today I swear Drink every time, right? Okay, and now I have to drop it in there.
Are you able to? Are you able in first to move to heap? No, I want to turn off the heap. That's something I, I wanted to, to, to do. Uh, turn off, um, not heap, but halo, halo in uh, steps. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want to drink myself in the coma. Yeah. <laughs> if that step is smaller than four and stack is greater than top step and then else if tut step equals exactly four and um Halo equals four and then else if tut step equals five. Halo equals zero, then <clears throat> just uh, um, already anticipating that there's going to be a uh, animation there, and then touch step equals. So this should prog progress us through all of the uh, tutorial steps. Mm. So if it's four, that that's where we should turn on turn on uh, Halo. And if it's five, uh, we want to drop in the remaining uh, two cards, uh, which at this point should be. Uh, Two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, three. Let's just see how that looks like. won't work. So let's go three and two here. Ah! <laughs> uh, can I complete this now? Why well, cannot complete this? Oh my gosh. Um, so let's put it to three and just to one. <laughs> oh, to heap number one? No, it won't break. It's just like I just can, I can move things around, but you know the tutorial doesn't continue until I have a stack. And it just measures the longest stack in on the on the screen right now. So if I move it down, like the, it doesn't continue now. Yeah, I should maybe remap it. And also here, putting some things in the Halo do, do, doesn't progress the tutorial. I have, have to put it, everything in the tutorial in, in the Halo. Um, now I can complete. Ah, but now <laughs> interesting the. The game was over because the screen was over. <laughs> okay, you do need to pay attention to that. Um, uh, 
something I also noticed is little details, little details, working on things. No, it won't spark, uh, spawn cards over the stack because I wrote a special function that picks stacks where there are no cards. So I'm I'm good. I'm good. I think. And like this tutorial might not teach all of the because it doesn't teach that you can drag between empty slots, for example. That doesn't specifically doesn't teach that. But I think if somebody has like a 90% understanding of the game, or even like an 80% understanding of the game, they can figure things out by osmosis, I think. Um, and if I f see somebody, uh, people struggling, I will actually test it with my, with, my, with my wife. Because that's a, always a good test, the wife test. And if she understands it, then it's okay. Wait, is there an extra piece on a third card placement that could be dragged into the halo? Uh, no, because I removed that piece. <laughs> that's that's what, I, what I said. I created a function that clears out the empty pieces. So this, and now see, now there's an extra piece here, but I, it gets destroyed. And these are exactly the pieces that you need to complete it. <laughs> I was looking for the update function. There's something that Okay, my wife is telling me that there will take some time today. They, my wife is very nice and she she knows that I'm working in this game and she said like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna spend some time um, in the library. I kind of wish that card uh, gets removed, that the card that gets removed uh, could fly away or something. But yeah, I, I was, don't worry. I'm also, I would love to have that animation, but uh, yeah, that's, you know, 7,000. 100, 100. So we are just we're approaching the situation where we only have 1,000 tokens left. So let's let's finish the tutorial first and see you then what we have. So I was looking for update function. Ah, oh, there we go. So if halo is equal to zero and fail is equal to zero, it should advance to the next step. Oh, but I guess we're not spawning anything, right? Is that the problem? Yeah, we just not wait, turn on halo. Okay, ah yeah, so we're not spawning anything, so that just ends the tutorial. So let's just spawn four cards. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Of course, of course. I assume the text would say to drag it to the bottom, but I don't know. Ripples would make sense, yeah. Can you afford a hint animation of a cursor sprite dragging from the stack to the head, showing where to, where to drag the completed stacks? Um, I What I have in, ma in mind is that the girl won't be visible for the first steps and then when it says like drop 
you know, drag the strip onto the dream and then the girl becomes visible and then it will make sense that where, where you're supposed to go. Now this is not good. But now I want to start um, working on the tutorial text. I think the YouTube knows that if I have a window minimized. So let's put the tutorial text in here now. Then here we're gonna go. Um, I'm just immediately re realizing because the set text is supposed to be centered, so we have to do an array of texts, sadly. It costs some extra tokens, but I think we could do splits always if, if this is necessary. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm planning. So this is good. Draw game. Yeah. 
here's why I want to draw it. So if tutorial if but no, no, we can just go for t in all text do c print t um sixty four um. Hate a Y. Hate a Y. Six. Um. No. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. Plus y times, times six. <laughs> Everything clear? <laughs> On apes? Did it, was it was it wrong? <laughs> Not the <laughs> shit. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Con a Cornel apes. <laughs> Your job is infiltrated even there. You can move a whole strip by grabbing the top strip. Move a strap onto the dreamer to start the halo. Complete the halo. Complete three halos to win. Well, now I cannot win, but... Oh, okay. Con Apes was, was doing the text before? Ah, yeah, 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 on the side of the girl. I got it, got it, okay. Um,
gfade plus equals gd fade comma uh, minus g fade divided by 10. Uh, actually, I, I don't think it makes sense to draw the girl, to fade the girl, because she's already so great anyway. But you know what? Faded by deck like fourteen. G fade equals fourteen. We get the same result basically. Ah. <laughs> Kind of like what we're going for anyway, right? one of the fading tables. So we want to fade by eight, but we want the gray to be fading a bit earlier. So gray is, gray is number six. Number six. Let me see. Let me take this apart. Um, number, color number two, three, four, five. Six. 
zero, one, two, three, four, five. No, that's five. I need to have six. Jesus, that's not good. Okay, so this six just flips to seven, uh, to white eventually. I just want it to stay six for, for longer. But actually that fading won't do anything because the entire girl is gray anyway. So it's a lot of work to just like replace a bunch of uh, pal statements. exactly the same but now we're using the fading a bit differently but maybe we can then use the same system G fade, um, we starting at 16 and we're going down to, did I say eight? I said, I think, I think I said eight, let's try that. Nope, seven. Nine? Something is wrong. Eight here and sixteen here. Yeah, so this looks normal. In a tutorial, she's not there. Just get connect the shapes, and then we can do a GT fade six, a GT fade eight when it's time to do the halo. Gameplay. 
um, drop halo. There we go. If GD fate is greater than eight, let's go greater than nine. Then. The last thousand tokens. That's right. Or and we can remove those debugging prompts now. So this works, and the tutorial one, yeah, I cannot. Interesting. I'm drawing them behind the, the girl, huh? I'm uh, also now I want to generate the rest of the level. <clears throat> and I'm thinking how to do that. I also want the text to appear, um, but that's something that we're going to deal with in a second. I want them to, the text to fade in and fade out. But also, again, difficult to do because it's already the light gray. That's kind of almost the final color anyway. So maybe, maybe not. I want to see how that looks again with the tutorial. It just appears. I don't like that either. Halo Y, right? Halo y. Uh, update. Let's let's see where Halo Y is happening. Halo DY, right? Draw the text not depending on Halo Y. Okay, that's something that we're gonna. Okay, now let's do that right now. Oh man, this is this is getting a bit complicated. So um, let's draw the text on a fixed position. Uh, let's draw. We want to go to draw. Draw game. Uh, not depending on Halo Y, but actually on a fixed position. Uh, and I wanted to. Show the girl. Oh, we don't need this. I want to show her in the first step so we can immediately see where things are happening. Okay, 
it's still too 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 low. Let's let's put it a bit higher up. Um, Fifty-four. A bit higher still. Fifty-three. Two is okay. So now I I want the girl to kind of zoom come in later. Yeah, there's Halo DI moving Halo. Let's tutorial and tut, tut step is smaller than four. Halo DY is twenty-eight. It's a bit not enough. It's not enough. Try it twenty-eight. That's too, too much. Turn it. It's a bit sudden. Little details like this. What hacks? What hacks? Ah, oh, yeah. And otherwise, it's fine, right? Otherwise, she's, she's okay. Um, let's play a little bit. Okay, none of these connect here, right? No. So we need to figure out which one to free. This freeing this one doesn't do anything. Freeing this one, same thing. Freeing this one will allow us to do connections. And freeing this one, no, no connections. Okay, so this is the only way. So now which one to connect here? Do I move this one out? Might have been not a solvable level, huh? I feel like we are uh, we, we're kind of done done these. Let's try again. Tranquility. Tranquility is some uh, I, I'm when I think tranquility I immediately think of the moon landing base. Which might be good or bad, depending on I don't know. Let me ruminate about, about this. Tranquility base. This the eagle has landed, you know. Okay, so we did, did the stackeroo there. Mm. Uh, I feel the need to get this one out. Um, it's a bit too sensitive for a model. Okay. 
Um, I could also get this one out, but that won't help me at all, not in the slightest. Oh, we can get this one out. See, now we have a space free and we are starting a thing. But now we need a this guy here. So let's get this one out, put this, this guy in here. And I feel almost like we can complete the halo. We're here! Just keep stacking some stuff. I cannot stack this. Um, and that's that's we don't want to put that into the halo. For sure, but harmony, serenity, Serena might be nice. Happymama.com <laughs> Ashari, mm, that would be interesting. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to ask um, Augustine. Maybe we can use one from, from his own country. Joffrey means quiet? I didn't know that. Mirela. Serena? S Serena is, is in Super Mario Sunshine? Okay, so now I want to create a, a function that deals out the cards. But I want it to be... Essentially, I want to deal out cards, but I don't want to deal I want to deal out less cards, so you don't have to complete three halos to win, but just two are enough. Ah, Serena Beach, ah, got it. <laughs> Funny. Um, and I don't know, call her Peach. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I think I think Peach is <laughs> no copyright infringement intended. Sam, Jan. It's not equal zero. <laughs> not equal zero. <laughs> That's a good name. The card slayer. Our new name. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can generate the name. That's, that's, that would be good. Um, so actually, maybe we we maybe maybe not. Uh, because the thing is, like the okay, we, there there would be an easy way of doing this. 
and that would be just dealing out two colors of the cards, not, not just ignore. And it might be a good choice for the tutorial to just be about two colors. Um, but I think in this case, the game will be more difficult when there's there's two colors involved because then there's less op op options i think so it would be good if hmm. okay okay wait a minute it's, it's... You know what, it's a simple solution, so let's do that for now, and then uh, deal cards three. If not tutorial, deal cards three. I'm gonna put them Oh, I, I know how, how I can do this. Oh, that's that's I have a, I have an epiphany. Deal cards, calls. Um, here's calls. And we can do like an update gameplay. Yeah, it's gameplay. It should be here. I remember it is the same. <gasps> oh, maybe we didn't stack them. That's a problem. Okay, I have this one. Harmony, guardian of silence, dealer of cars, mother of shapes, keeper of halos. <laughs> Harmony, serious meditation vibes. I don't like the name, but it fits. Mm -hmm. Oh, patron names, wow. Yeah, I have to think about that.
Uh, and I think here we can delete that. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to put a hint about undo. It's it's there, but, but it's like you don't need to know about this. And also, I don't want to do the undo in the tutorial. Um, okay, so let's see. See, it's it's not that easy. Would love to stack here, but I can't. Um, but but we can maybe do like um, music went out. Um, so maybe we do want to start game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Elser. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to undo undo in tutorial. For some reason, I thought it couldn't connect. Okay, so. Can we complete this? Good idea, but if you submit a blue piece from a two blue stack, you're boned. Um, yeah, but... No, that can't happen because the other... You have to alternate both halos, so like it, it's, it's okay. But I can make the, the game definitely easier, and I want to do that uh, by doing the following. I definitely want to make that, that part a bit easier. Um, because that requires some, some thinking right there. Um, um,
Okay. Um, actually, S rent one. I mean, we do S rent one here. Then we don't need to do it here. And then. If calls equals two, then, and this is a bit of a hack, but hack. Um, for i equals one, two, um, so we should have 12 cards. Um, 12 divided by three is how much? Four. Um, do R and D deck dot call equals three. Yeah, it's way easier now. Oh, haha. Okay, but now you can get yourself screwed. <laughs> we got ourselves screwed. <laughs> Interesting. So, so this is the theory that I had that if you have more colors, uh, the init initially it's easier, but then some sometimes you might not able to solve the game. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> oh dang! Create a table of desired cards. I'm not sure what that means. Seems like a tutorial, that's fine, it's not random anyway. Yeah, like a custom build a level. sit down for this. I think there's a way of doing this uh, mathematically. Just create like mathematically the right. For example, if I only replace the blue cards, um, then like if I only turn some of the blue cards uh, green, then I, you can't get stuck. I think. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. So, although you might. And now, now I got myself stuck again. But you know what? Let's let's just try maybe a different RNG. Maybe maybe just like there is one RNG that is going to be like really nice and, and cozy. Let's, let's not get hung up on that one RNG. Uh, gameplay. There we go. That's already a difficult level because we have to put something in the halo to continue. That's that's kind of like an advanced technique. So this would be good. Uh, this would not be good. This. more options. Hey, it's another gem. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's put this in there. Did I put the wrong in there? Uh, did I did it? No. Tough stuff right now. Yeah, that would work better. Yeah, but it was a bit hard. Let's 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 just try. S rank two was kind of nice. Uh, or at least it didn't feel like I had that much opportunity to get stuck. It was just like difficult to solve. I'm, I'm, I've been playing this so much already, so I, I'm not necessarily, you know, the right person to ask if it's easy or not. <laughs> yeah, see, that was a bit, a bit of a. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that that doesn't close actually. Oh, that doesn't close either. <laughs> uh, let's get this out. This will close. I was glad. I, I'm glad that it was solvable, but but also I don't know. 
was, that was a bit weird. Let's try this one. If I find one where it's like, I feel like, oh, that was easy breezy. I'm just gonna go by gut feeling. It won't. At this will. No. What? Oh, actually, it's not solvable anymore. Okay. Bad. Next one. See, this is this is cool because we have like a th three strip in here. So let's just drop that right in here. Let's drop everything in here. Cannot use this to close. I have to use this to close. Oh, cannot! Broken. Oh man. See, if this was green. Yeah, I might have to. I might have to swap one card. Yeah, I was thinking of doing this, like uh, using a seat that was already there, and then just swapping one card, or just sw swapping, like like doing like little tweaks to make it better, so easier, so. I heard a child, so I thought, oh, oh Because see, like this, this seems like a natural move to do, right? So if we... But that kind of gets you stuck, right? But if this card was... We just swap those two cards maybe and make this card different color. No, wait, which 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 card do we need here actually? We need this. Oh no, yeah, it's not solvable. Yeah, yeah so we need this card. Phone cases equals juicy. Yeah, let's try that. So we're gonna go keep four, uh, two dot call equals three. Let's see how that works. Kind of, it kind of did that. Uh, and then I have to move this over. And then this fits. And the question is like, if, is the final thing solvable? Uh, no, it's not. So this should be yellow. Legal piece, <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's um, I need to stack them differently.
what? It's weird. Oh, it, it, yeah, no, it connected wrongly. Oh, 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 okay. Well, we can do something like... Stacked equals false. Right? I think random generator like really can be. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, this, this. Um, see, now we have to get rid this one out. Oh, but now it's no longer as, as easy anymore. All the way down here. Hmm. So maybe we can do something else. Um, let's go heap three. I'm gonna swap two cards. We do have to make this one dot call equals three. I feel like I'm I'm overthinking things here a little bit. Let's let's make just make one one color three. Let's let's do that. It's P not an O, what? Where P not an O? Did I make did I miss, made a mistake again? Okay, maybe maybe I, that's that's why it didn't work correctly. And now what? What now? Okay, I still have to make heap three one, and you turn it into color one, I think. felt this felt right now I want to play this uh, tutorial under the assumption that I want to get stuck like if I really want to get stuck if I really want to just like mess around and, and just like fail completely can I can I do it in, intentionally to this right and if I do that is this still solvable uh, 
uh, I can get this one out, this. And this, no, that's not so well, but I can put this one in here. Uh, and now I cannot use this piece. Uh, and I cannot use this, but yeah, now it's not solo, solo anymore. Ah. I don't know, I, I, I'm not, not, not a big fan of, of this tutorial. I, it would be nice if the tutorial was foolproof. But still easy, you know? Deal two stacks of four pre-made that you know what two pieces you need to close the loop. Yeah, I, 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 uh huh. Hmm. I just uh, that's I think something I, I have to just sit down and, and figure out. Um, let me focus on something else. Like I, I have something there. I could publish this now. It would work. That's that's maybe something that that we I won't be focusing on. So um, uh, before. So actually, I want to invest some time into something else. Uh, and then I can uh, go back and try to figure out. Let's go comment this out. Um, and there we go, two step. Um, uh, let me do the to-do list and then I'm gonna grab a T. So tutorial is um, better tutorial level. In-game bubbles um, is something I want to be doing. I also want to do uh, undo in tutorial, question mark. Um, In-game bubbles, credits, overhaul, playtest, cartridge, perfect. All right, I will grab something to drink. I will be right back. Break a Rooney. I have returned from the break. And the music has turned off. Hey, Pixel Limited. i uh, really wanting for this game. There's something pure about just drawing the shapes and suits. Oh wow, there's there's. Um, I think with only two colors, probably hard to lose. Yeah, that's true, Miss Miss Mr. Julo. Um, the problem is with two colors, the game is a bit harder. Um, but I already have a solution actually for the for this. Um, for easy mode after jam, a wild card would be cool. Yeah, you could have a wild shaped card. That yeah, 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 yeah. That's something I'm actually thinking of um, getting this those in there. And the thing is, like with this game, wild cards are not necessarily something that that makes things easier. It's actually might be a bit more difficult. It's 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 weird. Hey, Pixel also working Pico 8 now. That's good. What are you working on? Um, you could have a wild shape card or a wild color card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, if you think about this, if this game only had two colors, then the third color, the green color, would be the wild card color, right? But you also have to get rid of the wild cards, so... If you use, uh, like, you think about, if the game is solved, if the puzzle is solved, if the level is solved, 
then all of the cards have a place in the respective um, in one of the three strips, right? Mm, but if you say I have a wild card that fits anywhere, that card would then displace another card. So wild cards are not necessarily like they don't really make the game harder. They just uh, easier. They do or in that moment it makes it easier. But also wild cards also have a dedicated spot in the solution. And if uh, you put them somewhere else where, you did, where they're not supposed to go according to the solution, then you get stuck. That's what, what stuck means, because then you're replacing a, another card and that card will be left at the end or will not fit in, into the right place. Difficult uh, explanation, but um, yeah, it's it, they, the wild shapes and wild cards are a bit counterintuitive here. here. There's something pure about just having the shapes and suits, but maybe, but yeah, yeah, okay. I guess to, uh, you'd have to program it to visually look like the shape you're fitting into. I had some ideas on how to do this. Uh, technically, you could draw it behind the connecting card so it could, looks... Yeah, I, I, I thought maybe animating it so there's like a wave there, you know, so it's like kind of like, ooh, what's happening there, you know? So it looks like it's, it's uh, flexible. Um, Pixel Limited is working on Moon Punk. Oh my gosh, yes. This looks amazing. Have you guys seen this? Have you guys seen this? Moon Schmup. Oh, but sugar? That's not sugar. That's not sugar. False advertisement. Has very um, clearly are very much inspired by um, Remy and the uh, Pancake Deluxe people. Sugar is their engine that's kind of like inspired by um, by Pico Eight, so you probably don't want to have the Sugar logo at the beginning. What if you allowed the player to pick any card from the stacks one? So, so you kind of like a like a free pick, and then you can pull it out and and bracket anywhere you want. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. It's I, I yeah I can tell it's based on my tutorial. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks looks nice. I, I love the the graphics. It definitely feels very punkic deluxe style. Um, right, I do know how to. I, I do know how to do a better tutorial level. I I, I will get to it. Uh, we do it with the setup juice. Um, maybe. Um, I'm putting down tutorial setup juice, which is not necessarily setup juice, but um, I'm just checking where my where my family is at because they will be probably returning soon. Oh, they're still they're still at the school. That's good, giving us a lot of time here. Looking very industrious here. <laughs> Hey, Melo, Melo Mitru. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm doing the tutorials, right? Because we go into tutorial. And then we do the undo. See, now we are like in the previous tutorial step. So, but I do like the idea that there's an undo. When once the once the you know the free free potion portion of the game starts. Once this part starts, this now would be cool to have to that the, if the undo started now. So
And also it would be nice if the restart went back to, to this, this state. So let me see. Put it down here. So there's no undo. Okay. Um, So now we have no menu or menus. Uh, is this groove music? Yes, it's groove music. And then we can add these. Um, Gameplay. Um, uh, where is it? Your cosmic card. There we go. So, yeah. <clears throat> Here we can turn on the undos. Um, undo lib. Yeah, yeah. Under lip is zero. Um, with UI, is that where I put the under lip? Where I do, did I put it in gameplay? Oh yeah, I did. Save under. So let's. So we do have undo, but it is um, undoing, not undoing the, f the first steps here. Actually, I don't have to do save. Uh, undo here. And then the restart. Oh, it just starts game. Okay, um, so. We can just not have the restart. simple solution. You did an entire undo a while I was like, wow, undo it. Uh, I, I, did, I, did, I didn't do it today, I did it some other day. Um, it, it was fine, it's not that difficult. The board state is not, not too many steps. Um, not too many information for the Bonderboard states. You just have to save it and reload it. So now we, we have an undo. We have a restart. Why do we have the restart? Oh, that's start game. Um, yeah. Just have. And also, 
We definitely want to have a main menu entry though. So we definitely want to have this always. Main menu and undo. Undoing here does, doesn't do anything. The very things, very first things. The very first thing I look at Lazy Devs is a tutorial about the Schmuckin. Yeah, that's the most recent tutorial. In all those videos, I learned how to make our own games. That's awesome. It was interesting for me at the time to study the style of other users on Nextlove, and then I already used my code style, and now I've placed many projects on Nextlove, and that's good. seeds. Oh, by the way, I have something I want to check. Um, if we can. Tutorial broken. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not good. The tutorial has to be different. Could have done undo here. Oh man. Bing. Bing. Why did I do this? Oh yeah, I want to see if ah see, uh, pressing a, a button doesn't uh, highlight the okay. Yes, I'm using a lot of sign and cosine, yes. UPD Gover. Wait, 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 wait. How does it usually work? Start. Or 
far. Far. Then I'm also equals false, so but equals one. Something more as well. Do we? Yeah, as I said, yeah, I'm using <laughs> there's a lot of sine and cosine in this code. Don't worry. Oh, oh man, you missed so much spotlight. You missed so much, so much discussion. It, we are basically, the game's already finished. It's, uh... You've missed everything. Okay, that works. Bye-bye, see you next year. <laughs> okay, um... Um, so uh, yeah, I'll, let me try it one more time. I'm going to complete the entire tutorial with the keyboard only, just to see how that feels. first game made in just 18 days. I don't think it's the first game <laughs> there's been a lot of other games made in less than 18 days. Um, also it's not finished, it's far from being finished. Um, there's lots of stuff I want to be doing still and one of those things is um, okay so we have undo in the tutorial now in game bubbles yes maybe a uh, credits overhaul yes maybe but also i wanted to add <coughs> text juice uh, because the tutorial text is kind of sudden it would be nice if if, if this was a bit a bit nicer so here we are text juice Text to the text too. I think the fastest I made a game was my Squid game I made in eight. I had another game, Jam game, that was three. I don't know if I can handle any faster than that. My brain just starts <laughs> melting to the floor. I, I think that the trick to making games faster is just like uh, reduce your complexity. I think the fastest game I made was like, uh, I think 40 minutes. It's still up in um, like an actual computer game. It's still up in was it one one and a half hour? Just like it was like like an hour or so. Um, it was in. It's still up on um, Newgrounds. It's called um, um, like Right or Cat or something. You have to look at look up Chrisman on on Newgrounds, and you will find like the one of my oldest games. Uh, it's 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 a very stupid game. <laughs> it's not really a game per se. It's kind of like more of a fun tool. So it's like a flash game, and you um, 
you are shown uh, I, uh, let me let me pull it up okay. does it work even like because it's flash right it's like flash doesn't even work anymore story essay cat was that game yeah story essay cat There we go. Does it work? Oh no. We have to we have to have um, flash player installed. I forgot how it works, but it was like kind of like it's kind of press the right key at the right time. You have to keep uh, keep a button pressed, and then it shows you another button, and you press that button, and another button, and press that on the keyboard. And then once you're done, with, once you play this for for a bit, you that your button presses um, are actually a text <laughs> and then you get like random text. It's basically a simulator of a text running, uh, of a cat running over your keyboard and <laughs> pressing <a> keyboard <laughs> and, and you get a poem and then that poem. Um. But the funny thing is like you don't have to follow the the keyboard presses so you could actually write an actual text. <laughs> the keyboard presses just, just like <laughs> it's just like a you know the cat rat ran over my keyboard gag as a, as a video game. And yeah, the anime that was fun. It's not the best game, but it was very easy, you know, very quick to make. Ah, yeah, also I need um, to text D uh, equals zero. Um, yeah, zero. It's pretty good for less than an hour. My cat doesn't run across, but he likes to sit on top of the keyboard, so very accurate. Yeah. Cats are awesome. My cat's hobby is being fed. <laughs> That's a good hobby. It's a good hobby to have. Um, So we're gonna do this in a draw function because um, I don't think we need an extra update function for this. If toot, if hashtag txt is not equals to txt2 or to txt to txt one is not equals to sixty two or uh two one there we go. Oh what 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 You know what? I don't need. I need. I don't need that. That statement. Then. Uh, 
um, plus equal one if tat xtd equals zero uh, greater than equals zero then Bye, Pixel Limited. Uh, dear God, I'm thirsty. Put some water in my bowl. <laughs> I am perished. What are you even good for, human? If you can't even accomplish this simple task. In other words, meow, meow. Okay, um, here is what I think will happen. Oh, there's no I. Ah, uh, for sure. Nope, that did work. What about the pieces? What's wrong with that? Ah, that's good. That's what I wanted. Okay. Um. Come on.
Oh, 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 oh I know why. And it should be 32. 32 minus, yeah, that's, that's a simple solution. And we can, we can fix this in a second. Oh, I make the shape. No, no, it should be 64. What, what am I doing? Oh. So my family is coming. slow. didn't work. No, oh, this is a bit too fast. Mm, I don't like that. That's a regular, regular linear thing would be nice. It was a bit fast. I got upsected into UW Stout for a BS in computer. <laughs> so you're doing some BS in computer science, eh? <laughs> With a focus on game design development. Congratulations, Gamma Volantis. That's, uh, that's, that sounds like a quite an achievement. Very proud of you. Try something here. Um, zero. Fifty-eight. Sixty-four minus that XD. Yep. Yeah. And. for now. Um, that's the opposite of what I wanted to happen. Ding. 
something went wrong here. Oh, that's why. I feel like I'm crazy, taking crazy pills. Ah, oh, okay. No, but yeah, it's seven. Oh, there's one missing? All right, so here's where you put 120. Yeah, thanks, thanks. So if we make this white now, we get kind of like the same effect. But somehow it didn't work. Oh, because we have to draw it afterwards. Duh! Smelly <laughs> fish stick. Everybody's like on on point today. Everybody's pulling their weight. That's amazing. Or everybody's not pulling their weight, but everybody's supporting me here. That's uh, I'm I'm so flattered. So the cool thing here now is that we can do something like, uh, fill P, looks good. Oh. No, 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 no. Sixty four, but here minus eight. That's the good good. <laughs> the greeny good good. Okay, I want maybe to, to remove the tutorial text. Uh, actually, 
yeah, maybe, maybe we did remove the tutorial text. So we're gonna do something like tut text equals this. Um, That's a good, good. Okay, guys, my um, family is arriving very, very soon. The arrival is imminent. So I will end today. No, not today, but I will end this uh, streaming session, this excellent streaming session. Uh, this was really wonderful, delightful. It seems like we are already approaching the... Um, um, the first release so this is gonna be fun I will be back this evening just in roughly four hours I will be back and we're gonna put on the finishing touches the things that 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 are here in our to-do list there's not too much stuff left um, nothing specifically critical so that's good oh I want to maybe also no no seed in tutorial finish scene seed uh, but otherwise yeah like just like not nothing very critical just little, little polishes and then making the cart image and everything and then um we're gonna try to tomorrow morning we're gonna try to upload it to the jam website see you this evening guys thank you for joining in bye bye the fear and I cannot talk anymore. I'm just so excited. The final stream begins now. There have been some developments. Not positive ones. Way AI, how are you doing? So the developments are the following. I've been looking at the website and I found some something that was quite good that I looked. Good that I looked. Look. Uh, game by its cover 22. Four hours. My legs are still a bit sore. But uh, yeah, that's neither here nor there. There's more important things to discuss. Look, it says just four hours. I was under the impression that the delivery date was tomorrow. On the first of December, at you know twelve or one p one p.m. It is not p.m. It is a.m. Which means it is in the middle of the night, which is technically not tomorrow, but it's still today. <laughs> so in four hours. 
That's why I hate AM and PM. It's just so easy to like make a 12 hour mistake. You don't have that problem when you're working 24 hour mode. You know, one o'clock is, you know, it's one o'clock in, in, the, in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's why 12 o'clock is horrible. A 12 hour clock is horrible. And it's the worst when it's like 12, exactly 12, because then it's like, what is 12 a.m.? Is that in the middle of the night or is it, is that, is that noon or, or, or mid, like, because of exactly 12, right? Like, well, okay. That's why it's always good to, elab they, they do a good job here, like 12, 59, so. Anyway, uh, we have only four hours left. So with other words, it ends today. Today is the deadline. We have four hours and seven minutes to finish this. And we're gonna try to make it work. All this stuff, possibly, still, still to do. Uh, also, if you watch closely, it's, it's, it says shapes too here. Oh, well, I've been using a little bit some, uh, you know, draw the rest of the owl time <laughs> to do things. Um, Problem is, I don't know what I changed. Okay. Um, ah, I know what I changed. Okay. So um, the first thing I want to address is this, um, the, the deck, the, the tutorial deck. That's something that was causing us troubles and I have a solution for this. So should I, should I take the time to print it, paint it out? I, I will. This game is one of those games where it pays off to look at the possible end state. Like it's, it's kind of like a puzzle, right? So you're solving uh, towards an end state where things will look in a certain way. So uh, in the tutorial, things will look the following. You will have, we will have two strips. We, have, we will have created two strips of um, six, of six, uh, six cards each, right? Two strips of six cards each. So when we are setting up the puzzle for the tutorial, we want to just like take those cards and just redistribute them and make the player rearrange them how they belong. Now, if we, if we just use two colors, things are kind of easy, right? They look kind of, oops. Really, it's not close. Oh my gosh. Paint, you are killing me. You are killing me. You are killing me. I'm gonna close everything up so we can talk about those. So if, let's say we have two colors. Cool, two colors is kind of good. Uh, because it's it's uh, they, there's just one way they belong together because you always have to alternate colors so so there there's a correct solution that solution looks like this Bam. you will have two strips with alternate and the, and the real shapes don't matter they all, all the shapes only fit together in one way right um, but you will have two strips that look like this where the colors alternate um, you won't have a problem in, in, with this setup where, um, you know, you solve a halo and then uh, there's no way of solving. The, like, you don't, don't get stuck when you have two colors, at least not in this way. Maybe um, there's no way to do any kind of combinations anymore. That's possible, maybe. Um, but the, the thing you are trying to avoid is um, 
where um, you know when you solve a halo but the remaining pieces are do not fit together into a third halo that's something that we want to avoid in the tutorial um, you could of course now do something like you know burp, 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 right randomly uh, change four shapes into into green but now for example if you look at this this green could potentially also go here like you could replace this this one like you replace this one and with this one then you could comp th then this upper thing would be still valid but this lower thing would no longer be valid because now we have three blues in a row so if we just randomly replace things in with green you create boards where you can get stuck So how else can we create a board where you can't get stuck? And the solution is um, you can, if when you replace a card uh, with green, the color with green, you have to replace the same color, the same shape with the, with the opposite color, but also with green. So there is no way of replacing them, of, of exchanging them. They're equivalent. So this green only belongs in this lower row now. It cannot like, you could exchange them, right? But since they're identical, you don't break anything. Right? So we, we just have to replace like pairs of greens or pairs of shapes with, with green colors. And they could be technically also together. You could do something like this. But I think it's kind of nice when you do it like this. I think that gives you the most freedom because the advantage of the green shapes, well, actually you could not replace them like this because that's, greens cannot connect together, right? Um, you could replace something like this. But I think it's kind of nice to replace them. I, I feel like this gives us the most freedom. So this is how I want to create the, the deck for the tutorial. Uh, so I already feel that I will probably take off this 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 warm thing. Okay, here in deal cards. This hack, we remove this and we add a completely new hack. If calls equals equals to end. I equals two or I was uh, two, three, four, five. Then my card dot call equals Also, I did the wife test and she was able to complete the tutorial. It was interesting to watch her because um, she didn't understand some things, but she managed to pull through it. Like she actually solved this puzzle. just like you know widely solving this like, without thinking much about it oh look that's not solvable interesting 
wait. So that wasn't solvable, interesting. Let us look at this one more time. That's not what I expected. It did the replacement correctly. Oh wait, but there's now more yellow things than there's... You see? Why? Why do we have... Turn off the if and count. Count what? I mean, um, see what happens when we generate the level without. Oh, I know what happened. <laughs> I did the test of it and that, that same problem happened again. Uh, I had this hack over here <laughs> and had to re remove that one. Uh, yeah, that should, should do it. Yeah, now we have three of um, four of each. Now this should work. And this is actually a really good tutorial, I think. Uh, like it's it's you can solve it, and, and but it's uh, you know the reduced piece count and. Remove danger of, of doing th stuff is makes makes things really nice. Let's see if I can uh, solve uh, do the tutorial with a keyboard again. Just keyboard. Cell but cell but equals one. worked. <clears throat> now. Now. Um, I, I want to do something um, when we draw things, 
when we draw the lanes draw game there we go um, I want to do the spacing be to be higher I think 11 looked nice uh, because it was the, the screen was very busy very complicated with the, the when there was a lot of dots now this looks less nice and less fluid but but I think like this the sparse look is something that I uh, enjoy more This is solved. Um, mm -hmm. Better tutorial level, we got that. Um, card image. This is another thing that I've also been like working on a little bit uh, between the streams. And it it's a surprisingly difficult thing. You can recently, you, you there's an option to in, in uh, import a PNG into um, your PQ8 file. That's great. However, that import function does not take into account alt colors. So, if you want to have like an image with alt colors, with the alternate color palette, you still have to use kind of like the old school of ways of doing this. I will show you the, the, uh, the card image I came up with. Okay, so this is the card image that I want. Uh, I want to have. I think this is good. Yes, yes, yes. No, yes. Good, right? Um, it kind of like replicates kind of like the look from the from the um, again by its cover card. Um, I put the shape strip strips on the top and bottom. Hey, we will bull. Um, because if I, I tried it initially with them on a size like on a card, but that really made the window very narrow. And so putting it at top and bottom makes it a bit more landscape, which is more the format of the of the Pico 8 card, not the Pico 8 card. The, um, of the, uh, again, by its cover card. But now, we need to get this into the cover image, and as you can see, it, or it uses our color palette. We use the uh, alternate color things. Uh, what is YF11? Uh, this it's kind of like one of those things that was like uh, the tritus uh, on the um, create card. Maybe some kind of like um, you know age indicator. Actually, YF11. And the idea is to kind of like to, you know, ape as much as possible the original Shape of Mind card. I think we, we're doing it quite well. You know, the, the format is different, so yeah, obviously the layout is a bit different, but yeah, it's good. Um, so how are we going to get, well, I already did the work, but basically what I had to do is um, I had to create kind of like a, a version using the regular coral palette. Let me show you. I created this version. This uses the regular color palette. And in this version, if the colors um, are replaced by the alternate color palettes, the way they are replaced in our game, then we get the, like, the final image. So we, I can re reverse the color replacements that we do in our game. Then I loaded it up into a, into a copy of, uh, a backup copy into our game, applied the, uh, the palette manipulation, and then pressed F7 to capture that image. And now I can copy it into our card. Hit 
it's 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 insane okay so let me see this shapes too i can maybe delete this already um shapes i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a backup copy in case something goes wrong uh, so this is this part and then cart image is the one that where i kept captured the image and so we're gonna go in here and you can see that's the label And then we're gonna paste this into into shapes. By the way, we should probably also rename this into shape because it's shape of mind, right? Okay, saving this. erase this because we're gonna do a test real quick okay now we're gonna go export um, shapes.p8.png did that work nope it did not work ah Yes! <laughs> There's one more thing I want to do here, and that is... Um, Victor Dance, Victor Dance. I'm gonna open the... Sh no, that's, that's the wrong sh uh, Hero 3. Publish, Cherry Bomb, uh, Notepad. Okay. Because you see how it has the star as, as, a, as a description here? I want to replace that. And it's not going to be Cherry Bomb, but Shape of Mind. Hey, SCE-74, how are you doing? Yes. Uh, show me the, show me that thing. There you go, Shape of Mind by Facebooks. Actually, not. No, this is not going to be by lazy devs. <laughs> you can get special edition with blue plastic cards. Well, I could. Well, I, I, hmm. Augustine could when he when Augustine submitted this. Um, the reason is, I want to actually put, put my real name in here, and there's a reason for this. So sometimes I make cards as part of the tutorial. And if it's a tutorial on the Lazy Devs website, on the Lazy Devs channel, then that's a Lazy Devs card. Uh, if it's something I made and I just streamed it like here, then that's a Christian Majewski card. I mean, I'm in both cases I made it, but this time it's not for the tutorial, it's just a thing. Good, so we figured the card image thing. Now we can export this again. It's always good to export more than, than less, just to have the backup copies. Do, do. 
Okay, no seat, and I think um, restart doesn't work. 800 tokens free. Enough room for post-release features. There's token opti optimization too. Yeah, we did zero token optimization, so there's plenty of, of tokens we can probably harvest. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely um, will do post-release features. I definitely want to add this um, uh, uh, how do we call it? A um, campaign, like missions. I, I want to definitely do that, and maybe like weird pieces that would may really uh, challenge you. Okay, so while we're here, oh yeah, um, Well, actually, the fade out doesn't actually do anything, so we can just as well do like a wait. CLS seven, wait thirty. Well, eh, we don't need to wait thirty. We can just switch immediately. We can maybe in increase the viewing time by yeah, so people can. see more of what's happening. So I think the uh, one problem that we have right now, whoa, was that chugging right now? No, it just looked like it. Um, so, okay, let's make a screenshot. Uh, remember that there is like three green ones in the top row. Now restart. And now it's a different layout. That's not good. That's the key, 19373. Okay, so what do we see? We have in the second row, there's two orange ones. Now restart. Okay, now we're getting the same, really the same level like over and over again. And then if we go to main menu and start again, we're getting different shapes. Main menu, start again. So this is this is solved. Now here draw 
draw cover. Yeah, there we go. If tutorial, if not tutorial. Perfect. Damn that swish. Good. Um, okay. You know what? The in-game bubbles. Um, no. Let's let's put them to post-release. I'm just not even gonna try to do them today. I am tired. I'm tired. Um, credits over whole. How much space do we have? I mean, there's plenty of space. You know what? The credits overhaul is is we're gonna also push push this po post release. It's fine. That's something that you know I can just play around for ages. Well, we could try to fix the tutorial setup just... Oh, yeah, yeah. So something I want to maybe do is... I'm going to use the same trick I did here when... Um, you know, when I prioritize how I deal the cards. Uh, when I drop cards into an empty heap. So in the tutorial, the cards don't all... Uh, the new cards don't all bunch on the left side. But actually, more are more centered. Uh, but actually, I want to prioritize now the center ones. So two, three, one, four. Something that was good to see um, when my wife tested it is that um, I did not explain that you can put things into empty spaces and she didn't need it. She didn't do it, but also she didn't need it. Um, and also she... She, uh, she didn't get that, or at least she didn't do it. That, that where you draw an entire strip into, into the halo. She do it one piece by, by piece, but again, they, they didn't, she could solve the level either way. 
And she, you know, she took a bit of um, time to solve solve this, like the second two halos, like not ages, like just a couple of minutes, but um, it was a good challenge. It seemed like it was a good challenge. And it was, you know, it's a tutorial, right? This is very satisfying, still, I feel. It's just so satisfying to watch. This looks good. Let's let's look for debug. Oh yeah, by the way, I uh, wanted to also maybe add one more thing. Uh, when I drop things into a heap, oh, when I create cards, yeah, make a card. Um, how about we make the cards where they're supposed to go? So this this. That's this way we would maybe save some some time. So here, uh, when we create cards here, we did something here, right? No, we did it here now. Gameplay. So X was 60. So we're gonna actually put this at 60, so we don't have to do it again. And then Y is minus 15. Yeah, we can just put it at y minus 15. Like this. And we could put By default the weight to like 60. Let's see how what because we're overwriting when, when are we actually making a card? Where is this actually happening? When we're dealing the cards, we're spawning them for the tutorial, yeah sure. Yeah, okay. So we can put the weight 60 in here. Oh man. I'm still watching YouTube. Don't don't freak out. Um
Hmm? Oh man, I, I created some mode. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just I'm just thinking if if there's something I need to do. Okay, uh, I think I will complete uh, three levels of the playtesting. If there's anything that that and uh, you know, alternating with keyboard and mouse. I'm gonna because the listening to the music and the. And the indie music is a bit distracting a bit. Okay, um, so what do we see here? I cannot connect anything, obviously. Um, so maybe I need to put something in the halo immediately. So we need to figure out what we're gonna put in the halo. That's something that might help us. In the, putting this will unlock this. That won't help us. Putting this will unlock this. That will help us a little bit. Um, putting this will unlock this. That won't help us. And putting this will unlock this. That also won't help us. So I think this is the best bet. Um, and then like this. Uh, and, and I think that's it. I think this might be one of those levels. This somewhere, but there's no connection point. One of those levels, huh? Oh, we d I, d I did have an undo. Oh, well, I, I guess I should remember next time that there is an undo. Um, so again, uh, are there any connections uh, available? No. So again, uh, if we put this into the halo, we get this, that's the same shape. Um, if we put this into the halo, we unlock this, this strip over there, that might be good. Because we can connect that to the blue one. Um, so that might be good, and then that will unlock us the shape over there. That doesn't connect to anything though. And the blue one won't connect into it. But that could also go into the halo, so that would be good. Um, Putting this down it won't do anything. Oh no, we could put the blue one on there. And then we get another shape underneath that's the same color, so yeah. Mm, and this one... Herr Gilbert, what a day, I missed basically everything since lunch break. Looks like you are in the final, uh, final, final streak. Yeah, yeah, just um, wanna finish like three. Uh, levels to, to play test and then we're gonna move to um, to make it website um, So putting this in the halo will give us it will Unlock this thing The t-shape But that won't connect to anything. So yeah, I think there's a clear winner here Now this can connect here all right, so again, the same question, what are we putting uh, in the free spot? We could connect this to here already. And we can also get this in here. And then why not this in here? Now, the next one has to be this one. So when it doesn't have to be, it could be this one. And I think now we're in a home stretch. We didn't. Well, I don't know if we're in a home stretch. Maybe you're not. But I think once you get the first halo done, if you didn't make a mistake uh, making that halo, you you are you are good. This was my experience so far. And there are still things we can fix if you ha haven't completed the second halo. The second halo is the one that that can potentially screw you. And the first, doesn't, first one maybe doesn't really matter, but then the second one has to be on point. 
So a good strategy is to build the first one as soon as possible, then you have enough room to um, build the two ones on the stage and then. The uh, T-shirt would connect to the one you dropped if you went with last column, question mark. I'm not sure, uh, I didn't pay attention, sorry. I'm already way past. Okay, next, 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 second one. This one I'm, I'm gonna use the mouse. Mm. Okay, so this could connect there and maybe we should just go for it, right? But this doesn't connect anywhere right now. So yeah, let's, let's do it, just, just gonna be good. This doesn't connect here. Now what do, are we point, putting in the halo? This is not good. It will just unlock this shape and that's getting us nowhere. This will unlock these two shapes. And they will connect to this. And we get this. I think that's, that's, a, that's a clear winner here, I think. Do we have anything? And yeah, we can also connect this like this immediately. Um, I, I kind of didn't, didn't see that. So now we have this shape here and this shape. These are the same, so that's bad. We, we don't really have home for them. Um, oh, we do have foam for them. I can connect like this. Yeah, second and third column, exactly. And then, and then this connects here. And then this connects here. Can we make a loop with this? Yeah, we can. We just have to, oh, we, we cannot pinch off here. We. Funny enough, we cannot make a loop like this, but we could make a loop, a loop if we remove the last one. So we'll just remove the last one. And then this gets us this. Nope. Oh, should we start making the... Oh, I don't feel, feel so good about putting it into the... We could maybe continue work. So this actually is not good. We cannot complete this. Bummer. But we can connect like this. Um, yeah. Okay. Second mind clear. I, I, I do like um, playing with a mouse. It's, it's really nice and comfortable. The screen moves a little bit too much, I feel. Like there's a dead zone on top. And I feel like the dead zone might, should maybe start further down. Yeah, I could have dropped, uh, no, I cannot drop all 12 at once. You can only drop six in, into it at once. For the final release, we might do like a two loop kind of thing, but I'm kind of like, um, not really that excited about it anymore. Let's try, I, I want to try something, um, because I don't like how the screen is constantly scrolling when, when I have the mouse. It's a bit distracting. So what if... There we go. 
not mouse mode, this is mouse mode. And then we're gonna go, okay, we're gonna, this is the old version. I'm gonna copy this. And we're gonna like start scrolling at the, in the lower half, you know what I'm saying? So now you can operate in, 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 in this without the screen jerking around. Might be even a bit more. Let's go with 74. Let's go with 80. How about 80? 120, 128 minus 80 is uh, 40, 48. Hello! Yeah, so this gives us, uh, this makes the, the screen less busy. And we're gonna see what happens when you have a long line. I'm gonna to try to actually create a long line. 66, that's right. <clears throat> Does anything connect? Yeah, we're gonna get here. Ooh, look at this, we have, we have a nice little, oh, that's actually might, might be an easy seed, huh? Maybe? The problem is like, we want to get to this boy. Oh, we can, we can, we can put this in here. Oh, oh, oh. And what now? Mm, so what do we need? We need this guy. Oh yeah, see this, this look, this scrolls a lot faster now down here. That's not too bad. Um, so we want to get to this guy, that would be good. But we need to, for this, need, this needs to go. And I don't know uh, where to put, how, how to get this off. Uh, we could also get the blue one. That's, this, the, this one is here, yeah, it's, this, that's not gonna be happening that soon. But if we get this off. Then absolutely nothing will happen. So there is that. Um, putting this into into the blender will get a, get us access to this, but we actually don't want the access to this. We want access to this so we can complete the loop. So that also won't really help. We could put this into the blender. Uh, this gets us this here. And uh, yeah, we, we might, might be might be actually might be actually a good choice there. Let's try that. Um, because then we can just like snip this off. This gets over here, and this is the one that we needed to complete it. This connects here. Um, I'm tempted to get this off into the empty slot, but I don't know if that's a good choice. I'm kind of in need of this or, or this one here, uh, technically. If I get this off, how about we put? The, well, if you have, no wait, I, I actually cannot use this because see, so I have to use I, I get get access to this one. So let's just go the, the, that way. Cannot connect it here, but I can connect it here. This goes here. Okay. Like we have to create, balance the two strips and then we, we got it.
I, I'm just, I think I did develop the necessary. Okay, I'm gonna try to create a really big strip and see how, how that feels like. With a new scrolling, you know? Okay, we need to drop something in there. Um, this will unlock this, I don't need that. This will unlock this. Uh, that would be good because we can attach this to there. So let's do that. Um, and I'm being a bit more loose now with, with the... Uh, and what now? And you would need this or this or this. So I need to get rid of this somehow, but I don't see anything that connects. What about the other thing? Oh yeah, we can just do it like this, but oh man, I think that will screw us. That, that might screw us. Let's try. And let's, then at least let's complete with a... We cannot complete with blue anyway, so... Uh, yeah, but actually not... not let's, let's do a restart here. Can we... Could we have done something smarter? What if we get this guy in there? Okay, this seems like, yeah, definitely want to do that. Wait, so I put this inside. So this, because I want to get to this. Because I could have I, I could put this there, but what if instead I put this in the blender, then I get this, this connects to this, and this connects to that. Um, I'm def today I want to put, put it on itch, I don't know if I'm going to put it on BBS, Let's, we're going to see. Um, Okay, let's let's try this strategy. I think this is this might be might be more interesting one. So we're gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this here, uh, and then we can put this whole thing here. Now here, this thing won't connect. On, on the other side, this green thing will connect, but. We have to put this off and put it somewhere else, and we don't have anywhere to put it. Um, man, really? Does that help? No. Oh, it does. Interesting. So what are we going to put there? What, what do we want to unlock now? These might be interesting, huh? The rounded shape, the roundy round ones. Let's, let's try that. We definitely want to get to that, that would be great. And we have so many things and none of the things that we have are the things, oh, we could put this, this in here. Square top, we could put this in here. This is not possible. We could put this in here. Uh, so this could solve that puzzle, but we need a new home for this. Um,
Am I missing something? Which, which, but what are the solutions here? I, there's just one solution now. It, it has to be, it has to be this piece. But we need to get this off. And there's just, there's no good place for, I mean, the only place it could go is here. But in order for it to go there, we need this away. And the only place this can go is there. It could also go here, but then where it goes, does this go, you know? It would also help to make a free slot, so if we can get this somewhere, that would be also neat. But yeah. I'm seeing the hidden depth in this game that I didn't see originally. That's good. That's good to know. I think we might have um, screwed ourselves. So, undo. I kind of want to get this, this away. But I can't. Maybe we add one more undo. One more undo. Okay. Ah. Here's the solution. No, you cannot take a piece from the hoop. Yeah, it's okay. It's I, I don't I don't mind that's chronic. It's it's not it's not a bad thing. Should we complete the, uh, a loop? We should be able to complete a loop, right? Uh, let's see. No, we can't because we have this shape here and that doesn't fit. Uh, but we could get this off and put this in there and this and then <laughs> we have a green loop here. <laughs> it's, it's so ironic. Okay, let's put this one and then we can do finish top of the square thing. And then we can put this one in here. Oh, I had to even check if, it, if that was viable. It's not viable. Ah! It is not viable. See, the levels seem sometimes impossible, but they are solvable. And this was actually a difficult level. I should I should remember that seed. And now I have it on the screen. I will I will find it. That was a, that was a tough level. Yeah, okay. Good, shall we upload it? Shall we upload it? You know what the hell, I will upload it to the BBS first. I think that's gonna be easier. No, no, not to the BBS first. We're gonna concentrate on on uh, the itch website because that's that's the thing that's required for the for the um, for the game jam, right? I've never streamed this part of the process. And don't expect the website to be looking amazing. It's not going to be looking amazing. It's going to be just a bare bones website. Hopefully, uh, there is not going to be. Uh, you can see my my stats, huh? Look, my Sweet sweet buns is still being is probably still one of the most successful ones. Um, yeah, create a new project. Shape mount. That's good. Okay, we have to create a cover image. Let's create a cover image. 
that's a problem. Like all of this is a lot of creating of thumbnails and so forth. Ugh. Classification. Um, games, yes, that's good. Kind of project, um, HTML. Release status. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it as release because I so once I set it as uh, under development and when I submitted it to a game jam, I probably not this one but the different one, and that put me like in a different category when it, when it, like if I was like not together with the real submission so to speak. So um, uh, we set it to paid. Um, no, actually, it's going to be zero for now. And later on, when we do the final version, we're going to set it to paid so people can download the downloadable version and play that. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually open another game to see how I did it previously. Something like Cherry Bomb, maybe? No, actually, this, this is quite unusual. So let us pick something that is... Porklake was, yeah, Porklake was nice and big. Okay. Um, 950 in width. I think that's like full side, basically, in 615 height. Mobile friendly, your project render... Yes. Uh, default, whatever. Automatically start on page load. Sure. Because it will on the we get the Pico eight thing anyway. Okay. Hello, um, if, if, if. A genre puzzle. I'm gonna think about them later. Community comments is fine. Draft, okay. Oh, guys, okay, let me make sure all of the debug stuff is gone. I don't want to have like a, some kind of noob debug or something happening. Okay, no, let's look, let's go. Okay, uh, export. Let's call it shape.p8.png. Export shape.bin. Well, we don't need the binary files, but HTML would be good. Shape HTML. Is that right? Can see a link to the existing submission. I guess there will be. Oh, there is no. Wow. Really? Yeah, I think they they yeah they, they do that. They they cover they hide the submissions. They don't see the submissions. You just see the community. Um, that's it's just the shape HTML and JS, right? That's that's the only thing. Also, this should be called index.
<laughs> so is this is this a good good size? No, the pork like thing was bigger. Why was pork like bigger? Good, I think I checked. Oh, I know why, what the problem is. Huh? Good thing I checked, huh? How embarrassing things can be. Yeah, I know what the problem is. It's it's all all caused by this UPD level thing. Does left cell start with one? Where do we set left cell? Well, okay. This goes into the itch, a replace, and replace. And let's see if we can make it bigger. If it, that's bigger, 750, it will, will the window get bigger or is, is there like a maximum size? And then we'll add the upload. If you upload the file again, you don't have to delete the old file. If you upload the same file again, it will, it will understand that you're updating. Oh yeah, that's big enough. That's good. Yeah, that's a good size.
I kind of like the the green flash in there. I, I kind of like it. It's it's I don't I don't mind it that much anymore. Okay. Okay, um, let us do the, do the, the thumbnail. The cover image, uh, 630 times 500 is, is our goal. Thirty times five hundred. That's the goal, right? Uh, Six hundred thirty five hundred. Okay. <clears throat> now I will have to see of if I have any files I can work with here. sent me something did it send me something oh man but the transfer expired but it should be somewhere my Twitter archive. <laughs> It is, it is good a resolution. Okay, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't have to upscale anything. It is good. It would be nice to have it like separated into layers, huh? Oh, I shouldn't, shouldn't, I, I should put it like in, not in full, full screen, but so I guess you can see what I'm doing. This is photo. This is a program called Photoshop. Upload time, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, it's already uploaded. It's already up there. Let's copy this, let's put it in there. It's all there already. We have to kind of like tweak around the layout. Whoa, 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 that's not what I wanted. What, what is happening here? Why is this? Oh, it's, it's just like the, the size. That's the size. Oh, okay. I, I thought it, I, I made a mistake, but I did not make a mistake. Just like okay, very cheap solution. Just copy this out. Just put it in there. Yes, you can play the game in Photoshop. That's that's that's, that's what. Yeah, sure. 
<laughs> Whatever you say, man. <laughs> See, now it would be nice actually if, um, if the strips, if the colors were on top and bottom, not not. Let's see if that works because, yeah, maybe we have a bit more, more room on top and bottom. So let's duplicate this and rotate this by 90 degrees. And then turn it off. Oh, they're, they're such beautiful strips, but it's it might be difficult to pull this off. Okay, let's let's do this like this. Oops. Looks good. I, just, I didn't like the half the stripe. I just said it in a second, but it was just not, looked truncated. This looks good. We get the, the full colors. Fine tuning. Okay. Uh, we need to maybe fix this in a second. Let's fix this right now. Augustine is probably like cringing right now. It's like, no, what are you doing with my beautiful artwork? Augustine, I'm the one who's cringing. <laughs> just joking, just joking. Uh, yeah, this is something art. Yeah. Just doing it, doing a jokey Rooney, you know. I, I love this artwork. I've said that so before. There is no doubt about how much I love this artwork.
Really? Really? That's what? That's how you do me? That's how you dirty you do me? Photoshop? I just want to fix that one pixel over there. Okay. Um, figuring out the placement of the girl a little bit. This should be a bit more... Yeah, like this maybe. Is she nicely centered? No, it's just subjective. Uh, I went the laser route, menu screenshot as thumbnail, lacking the artistic skills to do any better. That's fine, you know, whatever whatever you need to finish your thing. Um, now we're gonna save this. Mm. Publishing. Itch. Yeah, oh man, don't even, don't even, don't even talk to me about, don't even talk to me about Adobe and their business practices. Um, just let's just, let's just let not talk about it. I will just get upset. Um... Yeah, that's I saw that. Yeah, that's fine. I don't I don't mind. I don't, like fixing that would be too difficult. And it's, it's oh, you mean the upper? Oh, dang! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Ho oh, oh. ho! Thanks for. So this is the maximum that that we will go. Thanks, man. That would have been a disaster. Disaster averted. <laughs> you know, I'm joking, but I would be really upset if that was I, I like no no joke. Eagle eye, yeah. Jupiter, thank you. Wow, this looks so good. The the thumbnail. Okay, let us. I just want to like like set the colors, general color ideas. Let's get this background color as the background color. F six Ida. Dashboard. Oh no 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 no. Why is there no image? What do you mean there's no image? I just uploaded one. Oh man, what? Seriously? I did, probably didn't click save. It's always such, such something, something silly like this. Okay, now view page. Uh, um, then edit theme. All right, so this is the background color. And this is the other background color. I'm gonna, gonna put the same in there. And that looks odd. Uh, so. How does how did the card look like? The card was this creamy color. That's good. Let's get this into Photoshop. Cancel. Where is the card? Give me the card. Uh, we're gonna take the color of the card. I like that. Um, text. I'm gonna 
take the shape of my text color. And link, we're gonna take this beautiful juicy red. Yeah, that card color is I'm not I'm not I'm not so hot about it, but let me fix the background color here maybe first. E e Let's save this. Now the background color BG color. Hmm. I think it was just BG equals no color. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna go FF, 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 FF. I love that they put the menu sounds in there, it's just so good. Oh. Somebody played Final Fantasy VIII when they made this. Like, like this, this comes from experience. Transparent. I'm, I'm surprised. I expected it to be transparent. Oh right, because transparent is, is the opposite of FF. Ugh. I hate when I have to do something again. <laughs> so it's not FF, but. Well, actually, maybe it's better than if we do zero, 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 right? No, it's gonna be bright. So F F F F F F zero zero. Okay, let's try that. That's too many colors. That's too many colors. Um, should we make the should we make that pink from the Pico H? Should we make the, this into the embed color? Might be a good idea, huh? Can we edit this somehow? Edit this. I can make a banner, but like it's so weird. Yes. 
what is the what is the pink what is the pico 8 pink I don't know if I like this. It's kind of nice that it, it, the screen looks bigger that way. So that's nice. Um, dot game game frame can you can you go away yeah. okay. dot game frame Background. Hashtag. God, CSS is the worst. It's 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 kind of kind of amazing how how badly humans can screw up at doing something. It's kind of amazing. What a what a failure. Something we could do, we could take this color. What about if we take this, the original color, and as the background color, and this as the, as this color? Nope, not like this, like this. Hmm. But if we make this a little bit darker, yeah, something like this. Yeah, the game seems cropped, but I mean, everything is cropped anyway. Like, if you put a frame there, it would be also cropped. I know it, it looks like, like it may be, um, but yeah, just like the border of the game. We could put a border at the bottom of the game. That, that's, that's, that would be cool. Um, that's not something I'm going to do here, but I might, might do for the final website. Um, I will do a like a border at the lower edge of the Pico 8 and that um, something I don't like is that the buttons on the sides are invisible now that would be actually an argument against doing something like this and doing something like this But they're barely more visible now. It's, 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 that's a, that's always a problem with, the, with those buttons. Once you start playing around with the the colors, but yeah, come on, let's just like. Okay, let's just leave the sandy color. That's okay. We don't have any banner. Uh, we have to write some information about how the game works. I'm not going to create like a full-on manual just yet. Uh, I just want to have like a bare bones website that you know people can play if they want to. But um, I will make a full manual and everything when when the game is finished.
Oh yeah, these can be fixed, but we have to. Uh, yeah, I have to. I have to touch it. I have to not touch it, but I have to edit this. Let's save this for now. Um, do we make a banner image? Sure, let's make a banner image. One cool way of doing this is. Um, let's remove this. Uh, let's make a screenshot. And let's put that into our old Photoshop. Boom. Oh, not here. Create a new window. Bam. And then we can decide. I do not trust fill. Oops. I do not trust the fill bucket. It is, it is, it is, it is bad. So this allows us to kind of like tweak the layouts to our, you know, you can figure out, you know, what kind of, how much space we do want to have at the, at the top. And then let's get the original font. be like it would be a possibility go like here right put this on top um, with 950 pixels Like this, and then this would be some somewhere here, right? Well, it won't be like this. It would be like like the gap there. I don't like the gap. I, I just don't like the general placement of the of the window. But uh, I mean, we have a banner. That's that's probably that's probably already pretty good. And this is a difficult game to make a banner for. Oh, not percent, what am I doing? Mid size 950 pixels. Automatic. Didn't look so much so different, okay.
Okay, let's edit the website. So, con controls, um, or let's, let's call it how to play. Use the mouse. Is there any way of scrolling back through messages on Twitch? I don't know. You can just rewind the. Oh, I, I guess you don't see the. You don't see the. You don't see this, right? I can scroll up here, but only to a, to a certain extent. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um. Use mask mouse a game controller. Capitalization is difficult for me because in Germany capitalization works differently. Z and C. C or N or C. Cancel. Shape, shape of mind is a simple. Puzzle game similar to to solitaire. Um, connect pieces. Why is it everything red? Did I set, set it to Germany? I did. Um, connect. Shapes by dragging them on board. Um, pieces of the same color wall. Connect. This is it. Uh, how do you mean this is it? Agent APM. Oh, champagne time. <laughs> There's not going to be champagne today. <laughs> Top most piece. Um. Um. 
drop the drop any piece on the dreamer to begin a halo. Complete a full halo. Shrek 2 reference. It's called grabbing here, yeah, not dragging. Or any piece in the dream to me. Or drop pieces. Put it for Halo. Oh. Shrek 2, I, I, sorry, I have to admit, Shrek 2 is, I, my knowledge of Shrek 2 is extremely limited. I think I saw it once. Into the dream, <laughs> probably onto the dream. Thanks. Um, Shapes. Um, I said pieces. Drop shapes. The dream to be in Halo. Um, shapes in the Halo cannot be removed. Um, once a Halo is complete, the pieces will disappear. Guess unfollow. That was the final straw. <laughs> Solitaire card games. I want to be a very consistent use of the word shape whenever I can. One, go big or go home. Oh, I want to save, but it's, that's not how we save on the website. Let's, let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I, I, I have an idea of, of what to do with the theme. Is that the BG2? Yeah, that's the BG2. Ah, look, see, there's a bit of BG2 over there. Ah, I hate that. Ugh. Well, let's, then let's not, not touch it, maybe, huh? Yeah, let's not touch it then. Um, these are controller keys. 
uh, controller um, keyboard layout. Um, I'm not specifically not putting the controller layout here because this is highly, <laughs> highly, uh, um, yeah, like variable. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't. I just don't know. And sometimes it starts. Sometimes it's like some other name. You know, it's it's fine. It's fine. If somebody uses controller for shape of mind. They will figure things out. They can also just press enter on the keyboard while using the controller. It will be fine. About. Shape of mind was create, created as part. The a game by it's 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 it's, it's, it's cover jam two thousand twenty two based on a card design by um. Websites don't let you select text. Created. It's part of the game as well. The best one. Well, okay, now. Um, the game was developed. In uh, Pico on the Pico Eight Fantasy Console. Bye bye, Semino. Oh, in former written language, you watch three, not three. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't know how formal this is. Uh, the development was live streamed on the lazy. And then we're going to put the playlist in here. Yeah, I mean, these are, uh, some of the rules are kind of like, people tell you it is like this, and then you see like very, very big uh, writers just not following the rules. But, you know, there's no reason not to do it. Can I embed it somehow? Will that work? Nope. So we embed the first video. Um, technical challenge. It's me. I hate, I hate that YouTube always puts all the, all the stupid, like, I don't want to link to this. I want to link to this. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Ain't that Cortana? Me just such a cool new direction on the Halo series. <laughs> it's 
it's uh, you know Master Chief thought like eh, everything's so stressful. It's just like I don't roll my yoga mat, you know. Um, game design and programming. Um. Wait, how do they? I, 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 it's always good not to reinvent the wheel and be consistent. So let's look at um, the other game by its cover game that I did, which was. Um, dashboard. Sweet buttons. Oh, what are we doing? Ah, I just have like a big making of thing. Let's let's just we go. Let's just copy this. This is a good text. Making of. Let's just go. Let's just call it about. This game was created by. Uh, let's, can I just strip it off? I'm gonna. I hate that I can cannot strip things off the metadata. Ah, uh, shift. Sometimes you can do shift copy, but whatever. Um, 2022. The goal was to create a game based on a cartridge a chorus from the Family Case Exhibition 2022. Uh, the cover to. Uh, was created by Augustine. There. And then the game was written developed by okay, this is good. And again, I do not want those links. Um Okay, and yeah, this is this this see this this looks better. Music composed not by Sebastian Hassler but um, Gruber. And here I want to insert a small size of that um, image, uh, a small image of that card. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how big I'm gonna I'm gonna make it, so I'm gonna leave it empty for now. Uh, um, and Pico eight. Okay, that's good. That's a good link. Now, what will I link to? Um, I I, I want to link to. When I link to things, I want to link. I'd rather not link to to you to Twitter anymore because it seems like this might not hold on for too long. So let's link in the YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be Augustine.
Yeah, should I just... Uh, I mean, it, it, it feels... Mm -hmm. let, let me just link to my lazy devs. Ah, oh, that's me. Well, actually, uh, it's technically live streaming on Twitch, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, no, why not? Let's just link Mastodon. to um, record a couple of GIFs. Twitter is, uh, uh, Twitter stuff is horrible, don't, yeah, I fully agree. I mean, Twitter, Twitter, let's, let's, let's face it, Twitter was never really great, so, I mean, it was great once, but, yeah, the glory days are long over. Also, generally, social media is it's kind of bad. It has like a bad, bad effect on on the world as a whole. We haven't it kind of destroyed the original idea of the web, the internet. Like, who has a website these days? You know, everything happens on social media, and that's not good. That's, in fact, very bad. I would say. I, I feel the need to put this, but it might be bad if I do that. Yeah, see? If I do that, I won't be able to complete this. Ah, but like this will work. Okay, let me see what, what gifts we recorded here. Oh no, that's not that's not a gift. PNGs, 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 PNGs. Out of view. These are the gifts. Nice. Um, what about this? Uh, 
Um, there's some reasons why I don't like it. I think this would be good if we... Wait, that's it? Okay. You know what, what might be good is just doing the... I, I don't like any of these. Uh, I, I might I might like this GIF because it's just like the start screen that's, that's really, really nice and mellow. So let us remove this. Uh, let us keep this and remove the other ones. Um, this no that's 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 too uh, undecisive and I don't like how the girl disappears at the bottom but we might just do the tutorial ah I a uh, keyboard key was stuck <laughs> that's interesting P pressing backspace will do things was a funny bug. <laughs> okay, how quickly can we finish the halo? I feel like I already screwed up. Okay, wait, how, how quickly can we remove this there? Uh, move this down, okay. Trying to record the perfect GIF. That's game development here, right, right there. What? That doesn't fit in there. Which one f does fit? Ah, this. And then the, you just this. Okay. Okay. Got it. Was not quite good. Let's undo this. Okay, one more time. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, I'm just like. Yes! That's a good gift. So... This is the one, right? Give some meaningful menu, uh, names. Uh, 
Okay, so this was a lot of things completed. So let us maybe record some uh, dragging around shapes. Pressure is real, for real, these. Okay, let's get those gifts out there. And put them in a folder. The hair animation looks under polished. What? What? Guys, about time. We're publishing this. Are you ready? You can be the first person to play it. Are you ready? Here's gonna be the link. Here's gonna be the link. This is the link. Ready? Ready? I'm publishing. I'm publishing. I'm publishing. Publish! Ooh, publish, dance, publish, dance. Um, ba, um, ba, um, ba, um, ba. <laughs> That's the publish dance. Hey! Mm. So good. Yeah, there's lots of like you know, tags and everything that I'm not gonna bother right now, with right now. Um, for now, I wanna submit this to the uh, A Game Bytes cover jam. F how good did I have the link right here? Submit your project, yeah. Uh, shape of Mind. I have received permission from a... Yes, I did. Inspired by, provide a link to the fictional cartridge cover box art of your game in this... Uh, Is hot linking good? Copy. Open link. There's a lazy dev games on itch.io? Where? Send me the link. I'm gonna get that bastard. Submit it. Pew, pew, pew. 
Congratulations. Looking forward to playing this. It was great to watch your work and encouraging for my own coding. Thank you for letting us join you in. Yeah, thank you for, for hanging out with me. And you know what? I will, because I'm on the roll, I will upload this to... Oh, oh yeah, but also I wanted to... Um, to add something more. Um, upcoming updates. How, um, how future development? Send to Discord. Oh, great, thanks. Um, well, definitely want to um, post this on Alexa Loveload.com as well. Janssen, uh, RPW Janssen, congratulations. Grace to see someone build a game from design to completion with all the challenges along the way. Thank you so much. Um, again, thank you for watching. This, um, this, has, been, uh, this has been really fun, um, especially after moving and, you know, all the not being able to do anything. And after three years of not streaming anything as well, it was good to be able to finally Um, I agree. In terms of use, upload. Uh, not Creative Commons. Shape of mind. Tags. Um, a game by Discover. So. Um, and the good thing is once you've uh, once you've uh, written the text once you can just copy it I know what I want, uh, future plans. Follow this channel or follow Lazy Desert Academy. Where's the history map? It's not there. Uh, we decided against against having it because it had, didn't have any use. Uh, we will bring it back later. We're gonna use it for the for the campaign.
because it's Pico 8, we are using different. Harder to play when playing first hand. <laughs> I got you good, Bretsky. <laughs> That's I'm actually really happy to hear that. Small ripples appear on top of the corner. I I haven't seen any. Oh, these these um, gifts are too big. The only problem is like this GIF scaler smooths out the GIFs and it won't look that great. Congratulations, congratulations on finishing. It was a lot of fun to follow the journey. I'm looking forward to what you do, will do next with the game. And, and Sophia the Saga, see as a fun fact, did you know that with your with your game cards you can build 66 unique halos, of which 66 pairs result in a th valid third halo? 66. <laughs> Is that true? Kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing. I'm I'm so happy. Everything goes according to plan. 
Yeah, it's true. There are also 363 other pairs with no third solution, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> That's good. Um, Way AI, uh, are you in a in a in a um, Discord? If if so, I would love to hear your analysis on that because I, that's actually something I'm I will be thinking about this about this later on as well because I'm thinking of introducing other pieces which might ch change up this math a little bit. I would love to hear a breakdown from somebody who has actually already did the did the math because it's it's kind of um, it's kind of hurts my brain a little bit thinking about this. Yeah, Giftmaker is the best. It's so good. Let's get this out. You didn't see anything. Didn't see anything. Ah, you were script. I thought you did like a breakdown. Well, I mean, you know, whatever does the job, right? Whatever gets 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 it done. Okay. Titus, a bit tedious. Yeah, I've decided to go, go for it anyway. Might just as well. Why does it take so, so long? I think the BBS broke. Or maybe I got locked out or something. I'm locked in. Oh no. I hate it. <laughs> so we can take off the entire feature. See, it's, it's broken now. Yeah. Is Lex Luffel down or something? Yeah, okay, Lex Luffel is down. Now it's up. Offline, yeah, okay. Lex Luffel just went down. That's great. That's that's such a good timing, though. Okay, well, we're not going to publish it today uh, on Lexilofil. It's going to be just on works for you. Well, it it says here it's it says Cloudflare always on, online. So yeah, it's, it doesn't work offline or just me. I'm still streaming, so my internet is working, right? Wow, it's just you? How is it? Is, is there something with the upload? Oh man, seriously. I have to close everything. still have the Chrome open here, so I guess that won't. Oh, now it's working. Oh, Jesus. Does it, did it upload? Yeah. 
but the text is gone. But luckily, I haha, I copied and pasted it before. Before I already expected this to happen. I am I am a professional. the gifts they will appear underneath, underneath each other I think and if not I don't mind mm. I don't think I don't need to introduce myself Seriously, again? Seriously? Oh, man. Come on, what the heck? Why, why is, why is it so hard? I'm sorry, I'm just being with this. It's, I'm a bit tired and I really want to just... Yeah, it's not working. It's not working. Yeah, nothing. And again, I'm locked out again. Is that the idea here? Yeah, it's nothing is working anymore. <laughs> the game was made Pico 8, Pico 8, not removing it in Pico 8. Yeah, it's not working. What is this? Does it work when I use the Edge browser? Well, let's upload it in Edge, whatever. Next level is bridge. <laughs> yeah. 
you know how serious I am. I, I don't care what, what it's designed to do. <laughs> I only care about what's, what it can do right now. <laughs> that, that's something why is it shape, shape of mind and not like shape of mind oh I didn't save it is that the idea ah okay maybe maybe now all right going up on, on Lexiloffel are you guys ready? Publish! It's published! Shape of Mind! What? 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 Ah, here. Title. Shape. Oof. Of Mind. Okay. Played on next level. <laughs> Dev get mouse. Oh man, it looks so nice on next level for some reason. Oh, maybe it's maybe it's actually the edge browser. <laughs> I think I think it's seriously the edge browser. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I just I I don't want to be uh, launching too many games at the same time. It's good. Um, oh, your screen and mine and the background music. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the, that was the reason why I wanted to maybe upload it to Lexoffel after all because I also want to maybe play it on the on the Game Force. All right, all right, everybody. We are calling it a stream. I will stay so, a little bit online, start posting, you know, the things on the um, on the social media and everything, just making everybody know that that it's published and finished, and then I will go to bed and, and have a good night's sleep. Again, thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful journey here. It was it was a pleasure. It was delightful. It was really great, you know, every day uh, tuning in and every, you know the same people are in the chat and then hanging out that was really fun and it was really fun to be you know back in the saddle when it comes to making videos um, generally the big next video I'm working towards is um, the review of the 2 point, uh, 0 0.2.5 version of, of the you know the new features and so forth that's something I'm working on um, but um, it will take at least two weeks for this to drop because the entire next week I will be in hospital. They have a procedure that I'm being that's being done to me. It's it's nothing, you know, m mind shattering. But I will probably off, you know, out of commission for two days at least because that's the days I will be staying in the hospital, and then I will recuperate in at home for the rest of the week. And I just want to you know take a little bit time off. Uh, but hopefully after everything will go all right in the week afterwards, I can focus more on the update video. If you want any more details on what exactly is happening to me, you will have to subscribe to the coffee down there and uh, because I will probably record tomorrow or so a, um, 
um, like um, I always record like a um, um, monthly update what what is going in my life and I will record that so if you want some details I will talk about that there <laughs> squid light messed up the tutorial please please send screen screenshots I want to see what what you do what how you broke it I think it's possible to break it but you have to be <laughs> can we get a bit from the doctor's perspective <laughs> yeah maybe I can ask her if she can wear a GoPro while doing this that would be awesome okay Again, thank you so much for joining. Play uh, uh, Shape of a Mind. Let me know if um, if you find any problems, any bugs. If you, do you have any ideas on how to expand it, um, send me gifts of beautiful things that you've done to it or horrible things that happened to it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, do all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, see you next time. I don't know where that will happen, but sometime in the future. Bye bye.